Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Empress Goddess of Healing, and I am so happy the universe allowed us to cross paths today. Those new, welcome to the channel. Those returning, those who have joined my love and all that good-ish gang, and those who have joined, you know, over on my Empress Goddess of Healing channel, y'all, thank you so much. Y'all blowing my mind with these numbers. You hear me? Y'all cutting up. So, you know, I got to bless y'all. So today, we're going to be a little messy, okay? We about to see how your person would feel if they saw you with somebody else. Now, I ain't trying to cause no problems in nobody's homes, okay? We just playing around, okay? Hope you enjoy the reading. Peace, love, and light. Okay, guys, I'll give you a few moments to make your selection. Pile one, your animal vibes oracle that best represents the energy your person would be in if they saw you with someone else's. You won't see me coming, stalking, and plotting, okay, with the cheetah. And their love message to you is, I see your face everywhere. You left me before I got a chance to love you. I can't see a me without you, and I still love you. Pile two, the animal vibes oracle that your person will be in if they saw you with someone else is going in. Sometimes it's necessary to stay in the shadows, okay? And that is the tiger. And their message to you is, I know you are the one. I have never known a person as pure as you. It feels like heaven on earth when I am with you. I want to take this all the way. Pile three, the animal vibes oracle that your person is in or would be in if they saw you with someone else is too many opinions with the monkeys. And their love message to you is sky's the limit, baby. I like that game you got. It's time for me to grow up. I'm done giving my attention to others. And pile four, the animal oracle, or, or pile four, the animal vibes oracle that your person is in, if they saw you with someone else, would be quack, quack, quack with the ducks. And their love message to you is, I like not showing emotion. Despite what you think, I love you. You hold too many secrets within. I thought your love was an illusion turned out to be real. So I'll give you a few moments to make your selection. If you like to pick more than one pile, go ahead and do so. And I will see you at your pile. Time stamps will be below. Hey, hey, pile one, welcome to your reading. If you did not watch the intro, my name is Empress Goddess of Healing and I am so happy the universe allowed us to cross paths today. Those that are new, welcome, welcome. Those returning and those who have joined the love and all that good-ish gang, y'all, thank you so much for the support, y'all blowing my mind with the numbers, okay? Those who have jumped over to my Empress Goddess of Healing spiritual channel, thank you so much. I see the subscribers going up over there. Y'all, that's my little struggly channel. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you people haven't got caught on to me over there yet on the spiritual side, but don't worry, they will. We were struggly over here for a second. We picking up momentum. So if you are interested in, you know, spiritual readings or readings just to help you with that, I'll put the link below and check out my Empress Goddess of Healing LLC YouTube channel. Before we get into this reading, I do want to make a shout out to Neela from the UK by way of England. She is a love and all that good-ish gang member. She reached out to me about a week and a half ago, I think, wanting to know my rates for a personal reading. She was the first one to reach out to me for a personal reading on YouTube. So I blessed her and gave her a free reading. In turn, she chose to donate to my channel. So Neela, I told you, girl, I was going to shout you out. And I didn't want to shout you out in the 18 plus because I didn't know if you was going to watch the 18 plus. So in each pile, I'm going to do a little special shout out for you just in case, you know, everybody doesn't watch all the piles. Just so you know, I truly, truly appreciate you if you do want to book me for a personal reading my email address is in the description it's in the description of every video you can email me i will send you my rates and we can go from there so no more talking let's get into it so this reading pile one <laughs> is if 
how would your person feel if they saw you with somebody else, okay? So it doesn't matter if you with your person, not with your person, we just doing this for fun, all right? And of course, you know I have channeled a song. But before I get into the song, let's go ahead and check that energy first and then we'll get into these little love messages, all right? So the energy that your person would be in if they saw you with someone else is you won't see me coming, stalking and plotting <laughs> and upwards and onwards. And we going to first start with this cheetah here. With you won't see me coming, stalking and planning, the minute that they saw you pile one with somebody else, they would instantly go into strategic mode okay they would be watching they would be trying to get clues if you are not in contact with this person they will be on your social media trying to see what type of relationship this is they would not be happy about it cheetahs are animals who like to seize you know opportunities they like speed they are very fast so if this person was slow walking this thing with you the minute they saw you with somebody else oh they will get ready to take action. It will propel them in, to be in the energy of making decisive decisions. If they were stagnant, if they were indifferent to moving this thing to the next level, oh, you being with somebody will knock them out of that, okay? Cheetahs represent loners, all right? They represent entrepreneurs as well. So this person on your mind could be a business owner, could be a person who likes their solitude. But when they act, they act fast all right now let's go over here to the sting ray and i heard they will pounce on the price look at that there okay over here to the sting ray upwards and onwards they would try to act like they didn't care with this upwards and onwards pile one you know but do you see the sting ray in all that water oh they submerged in them emotions deep deep emotions trying to you know keep them below the surface so that they don't bottle up also with the upwards and onwards, again, going back to this cheetah, this would propel them to try to, or I shouldn't say that, this would propel them to want to take action. If you guys were just dating, them seeing you with someone else, encroaching on their territory probably would make them want to solidify something with you. Maybe take it to where you guys are in a committed relationship, but they would not be happy if you were with someone else. It would make them want to move forward. With the stingray, it symbolizes maneuverability. So <laughs> again, with the you won't see me coming, they're going to start to be strategic. Going back, going to this, everybody's overall energy, whatever power you choose, their person would be the spider, which is weaving a web. So everyone, no matter what power you pick, one through four, <laughs> the minute they saw you with somebody else, they they weaving a web. They trying to get you back. Are they going to try to trap you? They're going to try to do something because they're not happy. All right. The stingray also represents making the journey worthwhile. So if they did not appreciate you and the love journey you guys were on, this would then in turn make them appreciate you more. It would definitely make them sensitive, okay? And it would also teach them how important it is to have peace and harmony in relationships. Also, it represents the subconscious mind. So any shadow work that they needed to do, any behaviors that was restricting your relationship, it would activate that. Look at that there. It would activate that and cause them to look at themselves. The stingray symbolizes like know thyself. So it could in turn cause a spiritual awakening. Look at that. Okay. Also would teach them how to utilize the law of attraction to know. So they would be trying to manifest you back if they saw you with somebody else. Look at that. And <laughs> they would try to remain calm because stingrays, you know, like to be calm and focused. They would try to remain calm. But do you see this cheetah over here moving so doggone fast? The camera's blurry. Yeah, nah, nah. They're going to try to remain calm. Like I said, keep them emotions at bay. But uh-uh, they're going to be on that behind. So now that we know what the energy would be <laughs> if they saw you with another person let's go ahead and get into their love messages now these love messages are out of 
the energy of a person who is in a no contact situation or in separation or you guys could be fighting at this time first message see your face everywhere so they are seeing your face everywhere if they're looking at tv somebody's reminding them of you if they're around people somebody is reminding them of you and it doesn't even have to be a person they could be doing an activity that you may have uh like to do they could be listening to music and hear a song you used to like so somehow in their world they are constantly being reminded of you and if they caught you with someone else I'm getting, they would not be able to get that thought off of their mind, given that they see your face everywhere. It would just torment them if they saw you with someone else. Next love message we have is you left me before I got a chance to love you, all right? Now, the stingray was talking about patience, so maybe this person was slow walking that thing. It also talked about, you know, bringing peace and harmony into a situation, all right? So again, I told you these messages come out of the no contact, separation, or fighting. So if you guys have been fighting or if that could cause you to want to date someone else, they're trying to say that they never really had the opportunity to fully love you. Going back to this stingray again, which will bring me back to there's some subconscious, there's some shadow work that needs to be done that could have been preventing that. All right. We have... I can't see a me without you. So seeing you in the arms of someone else would devastate them. Pile one. They said they can't see a me without you. They feel like you guys are meant to be together. And the last message is, I still love you. And this is green and this is green. So with I see you, your face everywhere and I still love you, that's deep emotions in that heart space, okay? With I can't see a me without you. That's that throat chakra. They could be getting some type of awakening to you, knowing that, you know, you could be a divine counterpart. You know, the throat chakra deals with the yin and the yang. All right. And then with this red one, this is the base chakra. You left me before I got a chance to love you. So if you left this person, if they saw you with someone else, they would just feel like the rug, like their foundation was ripped from under them and they would not be happy okay so now that we know the energy surrounding your person look at it there they ready hold on person the energy <laughs> surrounding your person if your person saw you with someone else let's go ahead now and see what else how how else would they feel if they saw you with somebody else this is my journey oh, i'm gonna keep that out this is my journey of love oracle deck and let's just see and after that we're going to get some tarot on and see how that behavior would play out in the 3d and then we're going to get some messages from them out of my keeping 100 deck and feelings exposed and i'm gonna go ahead and get you out of here pile one clear the energy of this deck so let's go ahead and get the first one so we have look look emotional no, didn't i say <laughs> They will be deep in them emotions with that thing, right? You will make them so emotional. Do you see this dog just buried in the bed with the cover over their head? They don't want to get out of bed, pile one. They don't want to be bothered. They don't even want to see you with somebody else. You see them eyes closed? They like, no. They like, where is the loyalty is what I just heard. <laughs> okay, come on. Person. Listen, person. Don't do it now. Okay, look. We got rebuilding. So listen, they saw you with somebody else. Didn't I stay with that cheater? They be hauling, a hey, trying to come on back to you. Yeah, they will want to rebuild this thing now. Look, didn't you rock that foundation? Didn't they say you left me before I got a chance to love you? Yeah, look at this ladder. Look at this house. They want to rebuild that foundation. Do you see it's just the ladder and you got the little paint can? So they just want to knock down anything that was faulty, anything that would make you even want to go and date somebody else. They don't want that at all. They said, we rebuild in this relationship. Okay, give me one more person. How should... Hold on, y'all. Hi, y'all. Look at this memorable moments they will want you to remember the good times that you have shared with them pile one or they will get in the habit of creating memorable moments with you again remember this was the separation no contact you guys are fighting like at a little discord and you don't have to be in that energy but that's 
energy surrounding these messages but they will want to rebuild it again they want to make new memories with you they will want you guys to just be you too you see those two stockings there they will show you how you truly are a gift to them pile one so if they neglected you took you for granted seeing you on the arm of somebody else would would snap them into reality you heard me look at that there with Look, they will come trying to tell you a little secret, okay? They will be coming trying to let you know how much they care about you. Because you must have didn't know because it says you left before I got a chance to love you. So they weren't, look, it says I still love you. So this person wasn't truly showing you exactly how much you meant to them, pile one. And now they will come and tell you that. But they would tell you in a shy way. You see how she's... So they would tell you in a shy way. They wouldn't be overly expressive about that. Even say it in a soft voice, going right next to all of those emotions. But this person has deep, deep feelings for you and they will feel like it's an obstacle. They will feel like if you are dating somebody else that is an obstacle in their way <laughs> that they do not like and they want it to be gone is what I heard. Come on through person. I heard you mind. Come on through person. Okay, they said no contact or contact. <laughs> Come on through person. Well, you better be contacting some doggone body. Then ain't nobody just going to be sitting here waiting. Clear the energy of this deck in a no contact or separation. Oh, that's just me. My bad. Yeah. Get it together, person. Okay, so let's go ahead and clarify this with tarot. All right, and we're going to clarify the little energies too. We ain't going to just let that slide. All right, so with the you won't see me coming stalking and plotting how you gonna play that out person for power one if you saw them with another person <laughs> we got the world they'd be like you about to end that immediately do you hear me <laughs> we is not finna go round and round with you dating other people and i'm dating other people they will close that cycle out do you hear me they would be like, no, if there was any distance between y'all, they hauling butt to try to end that so you don't be on somebody else's arm. If there was any toxic traits that they had, they would be ending that. They would then use their wisdom. Do you hear me? Because they won't. You look at this, seven of swords. Yeah, they'd be like, uh-uh, uh-uh. We ain't gonna be doing this sneaky, deceitful stuff. I feel betrayed. <laughs> That's what I heard. I feel betrayed. They will feel like you betrayed them. Pile one, they said your heart belongs to me, pile one. And they would also be in a deceitful energy. Remember, they stalking and plotting. Remember, they said you won't see them coming. So they would then get in a deceitful, a sneaky energy because they would be trying to plot any way to get you back is what I heard. Look at that, Ten of Swords. You would just be having them in their head. Look at this card. It's just like, what are you doing to me? Are we really going to go here is what I get off of this card. She's just laying there in the water like, must I do this? And that's how they would feel. Like, dang, okay. So my, my distance, my separation, my no contact really caused pile one to feel I don't love them. Because remember it says, I still love you. It really caused pile one to go and pursue somebody else. I can't have that is what I heard. I'm going to get what's mine is what I heard. Come on through, look. The sun, absolutely, because that's what you bring to them, positivity. They don't want that sun to be gone. Okay, with exhausted. Person, how you playing that out? How is your behavior with the exhausted? Look at this here. Look at this here. We got the six of pentacles and the death. With that exhausted, yeah, they are ending not giving you equally is what they would be doing. So if they weren't giving you equal give and take, oh, that is stopping. They're going to give that to you now. They also want you to end whatever it is that you got with this new person because they will be wanting to come back. They want that harmony and peace back in the situation and they do not want you guys to end. They said it's time for a rebirth in this situation. Going back to that rebuild with the ladder. They said, let's take baby steps. It's going to take some time is what I heard. But don't give up on me is what I heard. Okay, come on through. With this stingray, what's going on with the stingray? How was your behavior with the stingray? Look at this, two of swords. And I wasn't that stingray about patience, right? And maneuvering. So they would get out of this indecisive energy with this two of swords. If they could not make up 
their mind, if they could not make a decision on uh, moving this forward, if it's been a no contact situation and they have been contemplating reaching out to communicate, they saw you with somebody else, oh, that phone will be ring a ding. And you hear me? They would be hitting you up. Okay. If they are stagnant about moving this thing to the next level, or if you guys been fighting a lot and you've been asking for peace, they would make the decision to give you peace. They would not want to be in their emotions or in their head. Look at that there with the nine of swords. Yeah, because you put them in anxiety. Just knowing, just the thought pile one of you being with someone else puts this person in anxiety. So if they saw you with someone else, it would, it would devastate this person. Do you see how this person is just all bent over looking like they are just distraught and in despair? That's how they would be going right over that stingray with all that water. Yeah. Them emotions would be out of control. Okay, person, how would your behavior be with this rebuild? If you saw pile one with somebody, how would that be? The seven of pentacles. Look at that there. They'd be like, uh-uh. Look at that on rebuild. How synchronistic is that? Uh-uh. They put in that investment. They're like, no, 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 no. Let me go on and put in the work now for pile one because I can't let somebody snag pile one. I can't let somebody take all that goodness from me is what I just heard. You better come on through. Bottom of the deck, three of pentacles. Yeah, no. No to a third party. No to you teaming up with somebody else. <laughs> no. They said they want you, all right? So now they're ready to put in that work. Now they're ready to be a team with you. Now they're ready to recognize you because the Three of Pentacles is all about somebody recognizing your work. And if you still by this person, whether it's contact, no contact, and separation, or fighting, right? And they weren't giving you everything that you needed or they did not recognize how loyal or how dependable you are or just how you have been by their side. They're recognizing that now and they want to reward you for that. Okay, with the memorable memories person, how would your behavior be with that? If you saw pile one with somebody, we got strength. Look at that there. Look at that there. They will be really trying to have strength because those memories, especially if you guys have had a lot of memories together or you've just really touched this person emotionally, which I believe you had with that stingray, um, it would take them a lot of strength to not be overly emotional. It would take a lot of strength to not lash out and pounce on the person that you are with, okay? And um, also the memories that you guys shared though would give them strength to not give up on this and to have the courage to fight for this, all right? Look at that Eight of Swords. Have the courage to get out of feeling stuck, going back to that Two of Swords. Get out of feeling trapped, indecisive, feeling like you can't move forward with you pile one, that would knock them out of that. And they would realize that it had been them the whole time that could have been sabotaging this union in the first place. Look at that there. A lot of epiphanies would happen if you, if they saw you with somebody else pile one. Now, I ain't suggesting. I'm just saying, that's a lot of doggone epiphanies. All right, with this obstacles no i think it's with the pss, how would you play that out person if you saw pile one with somebody it was a whole doggone lot with that one we got queen of swords seven of cups the eight of wands and the three of swords oh look at that there yay so with the queen of swords they would no longer want to be cold to you they would no longer be just using their logic when it comes to you, pile one. They would start stepping into their heart space because the, the queen of swords is very logical. She makes decisions based off of her mind and intellect, not her heart. And do you see how she's kneeling down? So they would surrender. They would now surrender to their heart and not just be in their head. With the seven of cups, if they were juggling you, if they had options, if they were confused, they wouldn't be confused anymore. That would be that psst. That's what they would want to tell you. I'm no longer confused about you, pile one. Seeing you on the arm of somebody else, pile one, devastated me. Put me in that three of swords energy. Devastated me. I cannot let you walk away from me. I'm coming fast. Speed again with this eight of wands going back to that cheetah. Now they're ready to take action. Now they're ready to have the communication. Now they're ready to travel towards you if there is distance. So these are all the things that they would communicate to you, but they would be a little shy communicating those things. Again, I'm getting somebody who might be soft spoken or would be saying these things softly because I, I feel they're a little intimidated. Okay. And then with obstacles, how would that, no person, that's too many. Uh-uh. With -uh. obstacles, <laughs> how, how, do y'all see this? 
Listen, them obstacles, okay? <laughs> Them obstacles is too much. Clear the energy of this deck for pile one person. Okay, person. Well, thank you. Look at that there. With the obstacles, they want to bring that positivity back in. They don't want any negativity. They don't want any obstacles. They don't want any barriers. They don't want you to be cold to them. You know, you see all this ice. They don't want you to be cold. They don't want to be cold to you. They just want you guys to just be back in union is what I heard. They want you guys to be back in union. My life has no light without you is what I just heard. Bring back your positivity is what I just heard. You are my sun and I am your moon is what I just heard. Come on through with the eight of pentacles. Look at that there. Eight of pentacles and the two of pentacles. Now they ready to put in the work. Look at that there. Now they ready to put in the work and in the physical realm because we have pentacles and they are not juggling you anymore. Whether that was with another person or just things in their life. They want to find balance. So overall, pile on one. If your person saw you with someone else, it would really break their heart. It wouldn't necessarily make them angry. It would just really put them in their emotions. They definitely would not like it, but it would spark them or it would like put fire under their butt. It would then make them really want to pursue you. Really, it would really show them what they could potentially lose, especially if you are with somebody and they can watch you right now. They're looking at all the joy, all the memorable moments that you are making with that person. And it just puts them in despair because they are still in love with you. They never wanted you guys to have a separation. If this is a no contact and all that, they never wanted that. I'm getting that it might have been something outside of them that caused that or just fear and self-sabotaging traits that they have. OK, and you are always on this person's mind, regardless of this scenario or not, because it ha we have I see your face everywhere. So they really just would try to win you back. They wouldn't just sit back and let you be with another person. It would spark the necessary changes needed in this person to really pursue you. OK, so now that we know all that. Let's go ahead and get some love messages out the Keep It 100 deck. And let's just see if I channeled your person properly. And let's just see what they want to say. I heard I don't never want to see you on the arms of somebody else. Look at that there. <laughs> you better put in the work pile one person, okay? Clear the energy of this deck. All right, person, what would you like to say to pile one? We have, I love how you put me in my place. Such a badass. Now look at that there. Now how synchronistic is that? Yeah, you would be putting that butt in their place. They saw you on the arm of somebody else. You best believe it. I spark conversations just to be near you. Now, didn't I say that somebody might be a little bit shy with this car? So they would then, if you guys are not talking, like I said, in separation, fighting, no contact, they would then try to spark some conversation, might come in casual, but they definitely will open up them lines of communication because they don't want you forgetting about them. What else? I got you always. Going back to that six of pentacles. So again, if they did not recognize you, if they did not appreciate all the things that you were doing for them, they see you on the arm of somebody else, they would then be that dependable person for you. They would then let you know that you don't have to turn to somebody else for what you need, pile one. You come to me is what I heard. Come on through, person. What else? Person. I heard it's the deck. Okay, it is kind of the deck, but person, you got a lot though. Don't you trying to check me like this. Okay, anyway. <laughs> I love having such a strong person by my side. Absolutely. Didn't they just say, I love how you put me in my place, such a badass? Yes. They said, I love having such a strong person by my side. You exuded your strength. You let them know, Power One, I'm not taking this crap from you. Contact, no contact. You don't act right, I'ma show you how somebody else will appreciate me. Come on through, okay? Yes, they love that about you. I can't take all the ups and downs, so see? It would just put them in an emotional tailspin if they saw you with somebody else, pile one. It would it would just, I heard it would put me in an imbalance and I don't like to be imbalanced. <laughs> Down like four flats. See, 
It will make them realize how down you were for them, pile one. It will let, make them realize how reliable this love was is what I heard. That it really was on a, a secure foundation is what I heard. I messed up the foundation is what I heard. Look at that there. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. See, I think this was the energy that this person was in, especially if they're indecisive or it's been that no contact separation. They just felt like, you know, things just happened and they may have been in the energy thinking that they cannot control things on their own. Like they don't have the power to create their life, right? And they would not accept. If you were on the arm of somebody else, they would not be in the energy of that's just the way the cookie crumbles. If this is the energy that they have had all along, oh, they see you, uh, -uh that's stopping right here and now. Okay, we back in that cheetah energy. I know money can't buy you. I love that, all right? So with this statement, this is a kind of weird statement. I'm just getting with that is maybe you, some of you guys are dealing with people who have money or like to impress people with money. And if they saw you on the arm of somebody else, I'm getting two things. One, that you could have gotten with somebody who didn't have money and see how you have a blissful relationship with them and it would realize, well, dang, all I had to do was give power one time, affection, love you know, a listening ear. I didn't have to give them money. That's all pile one wanted for me. The other scenario I'm getting with, I know money can't buy you. And I love that could be, you can meet somebody who's well off and financially stable and maybe more financially stable than your person or the person on your mind. And then they can look at that and see that and, you know, really be jealous and get sad about that because Again, you don't care about someone's financial, what's the word I'm looking for? You don't care about somebody's finances. That's not your main goal when you are looking for love. And I think that's why you would be blessed with somebody who's financially stable because you don't really care about being in somebody else's pockets. You got your own pockets. You ain't really tripping off of that. Okay, so if your person saw you with somebody who had money, and especially more money than they have, they would regret, again, not just giving you things that money can't buy. Okay, so bottom of the deck, nighttime is the right time. So that lets me know too, that if they saw you with somebody else, pile one at night, they wouldn't even be able to sleep. Going back to that nine of swords, they would not be able to sleep because they would be constantly thinking about what are you doing <laughs> with this person is what I just heard. Are you kissing this person? Are you doing it to this person? How are this? How is this person touching you? What are y'all doing? This person would just be going over and over in their mind about what you're doing with this person. Don't touch her is what I said. It cleared the energy of this deck. So it's a masculine energy coming in that definitely does not want someone touching the feminine energy. Okay. So I don't know if this scenario has actually played out and somebody is watching you be with somebody else. But for the ones watching, if that's the case, oh, they don't like it at all. Okay. Clear the energy of this deck. So person, what would you like to say to pile one? What feelings would you expose to pile one if you saw them on the arm of someone else? I can never get enough of you. Look at that there, going back to that. So they would start confessing their feelings. They would tell you they can't never get enough of you, that I want you back. Don't be with that person. They would say, just ask, what is it that you need, pile one? Why are you with this person, pile one? What is it that that person can give you that I can't? Just ask me, I'll give it to you, pile one. Come on through, person. Look at that there. You see that? Look at that there. I will put in the work. What I say with them eight of pentacles and that seven of pentacles, you better say it. They will now put in the work. I told you to put fire on the, under the butt. Look, they said, I'm not going to reach out. See, this is the energy that they in right now, right? If it's a no contact, it could be a stalemate between you two trying to figure out who's going to break down and reach out. So they would try to stay in that energy until they saw you with someone. And then they would again be hauling A up in that cheetah energy. Give me one more. You pierced my heart. Did I not say that you would break their heart with that uh, three of swords? Absolutely. Not only did you pierce their heart with just your love because they said I'm still in love with you and you didn't give me a chance to love you and I can't see a me without you. So you, you touched them with your love, but you also pierced their heart if they saw you with somebody else. They would not be able to take it. Bottom of the deck. Aren't you exhausted running through my mind? Goes back to the dog. I don't even know where he at. 
Is this not the exhausted card? Yes. Did I not say they would be up all night thinking about what you're doing? If you're kissing them, if they're touching you, aren't you exhausted running through my mind? So regardless if you was with somebody or not, this is what you do to them. This is the energy that they're in. If you guys are not speaking or if it's discord and you guys are fighting or in separation, you are always on their mind. What they say, I see your face everywhere. Pile one, I forgot to do your song. Your song is Green Light by Beyonce. The lines that stood out is said, for some strange reason, huh? <laughs> I had to put that. <laughs> you done pleasing me like it's okay. I can see now it's all coming so clear to me now. I can see misinterpreted all of my naiveness was just thinking if I had no you that I couldn't do. My stock just went over to million. And that it always says, so if you want to, you got the green light. So that just lets me know and further clarifies what I already said, you know, especially since these messages are from the energies representing those in a no contact in separation or in a fighting energy. Sorry about that. That, you know, there's been some discord. Beyonce said, you know, for some strange reason, huh? You know, you done pleasing me like it's okay. So see pile one, your person wasn't putting in the work. All right. And then she says, I can see now it's all coming clear. So pile one, you realize if this is a real scenario, you weren't being appreciated that this person didn't see your value. So you let somebody else come and see your value. That's why you say you got the green light. And maybe this person felt you wouldn't find somebody else. Maybe this person felt you weren't going to walk away. Maybe this person felt you couldn't find better than them. But she said, my stock just went over two million. Okay, so I'm sorry I forgot your song, Pile One. Again, I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it gave you the clarity and the oogly vibes that you seek on how your person would feel if they saw you with someone else. If it resonated, leave me a comment. We have a good time in the comment section. If you enjoy kicking it with your girl, go ahead and like and subscribe. Join the love and all that good ish gang. We have a good time over here and you will always get channel messages from your person. If you are drawn to another pile, go ahead over there and I'll see you there. And if not, Pile one, I am so humbled and thankful you kicked it with me today. And I just want you to enjoy the rest of your day. Peace, love, and light. Hey, hey, pile two, welcome to your reading. For those who did not watch the intro, my name is Empress Goddess of Healing, and I am so happy the universe allowed us to cross paths today. Those that are new, welcome to the channel. Those returning, those who have joined the love and all that good-ish gang, y'all, thank you so much. Y'all know I appreciate every like, every comment, every view. Those who have jumped down in the comment section, kicking it with your girl, thank you so much. I enjoy your comments and responding to you, and those who have jumped over to my Empress Goddess of Healing LLC channel, my spiritual channel. I know we a little struggling over there with the, with the views. Thank you so much for coming over there. And don't worry, we'll catch on just like we catching on over here. I do want to do a special shout out to Neela from the UK by way of England. She reached out to me about a week and a half ago for a personal reading. And because she was the first to reach out to me via YouTube, I offered her a free reading. And in turn, she blessed me with a donation. And I was accurate. You heard me? Accurate with her reading. And she gave me nothing. Nothing at all. Zero. Most of the time when I do a reading for someone, you don't have to give me any information. I can just tap in. Okay, so if you do want to book me for a personal reading, I am available. In the description, you will find my email and I will e email you my rates. Okay, so let's get into it, pile two. This reading is about how your person would feel if they saw you on the arms of someone else. And of course, I have a channeled song, but first let's get into their energy of how they would feel first and then we'll get into their messages. All right. And so first you see, we have this tiger. And first I just want you to look at the tiger face. Okay, that explains it all. Pile two, they would be mad as hell <laughs> if they saw you on the arm of somebody else. I get that they would just look at you like this. Like if you don't get away 
from whoever you with right now because you know you're supposed to be with me. They would be lurking. They would be watching, ready to attack and pounce. I'm telling you, and this power might even be a physical altercation. So this is my card going in and it says safety in the shadows is sometimes necessary. So if they saw you with someone else, this person would kind of pull back their energy from you. It would confuse them. It would make them very angry. They don't understand why you are entertaining other people. And so they would feel that they need to sit back and watch. And they would be watching you very closely. But it would really make them angry. I'm also getting it might taint their view of you, Pile 2. It might make them look at you differently. All right? The next one we have is the orangutan sticking its arm out. And this is called attached yet suffocating. And the reason why is because this person is very attached to you pile one this person's energy is very enmeshed in yours and I don't know if you're with this person but if you're with this person it could get to a like suffocating or codependent energy or you guys just like to be in each other's energy all the time but this person is very attached to you does not want to let you go and definitely would not want to let you go to somebody else they will be holding on to you like that and if they physically couldn't hold on to you they would energetically hold on to you now let's go ahead and get into your love messages now the energy of this or the love messages that you chose comes from the energy of someone who's in love with you pile two so regardless if you guys are together or not right now, this person is in love. I would think so, given that dog on face, okay? First message is, I know you are the one. So again, regardless if you guys are together or not, your person knows you are the one. This is why they are holding on tight to you. This is why sometimes this love is intense and suffocating to them is because they know you are the one. They do not want to lose you. They have been in their head about this also because that is purple with that crown chakra. I have never known a person as pure as you. Absolutely. And I believe that this person does know, Pio, too, that you can have many options, many people who want to date you, but they wouldn't want to let you go. Again, it would make them very angry because, again, they said, I've never known a person as pure as you. They know you give pure love. They know you have an innocent heart. They know that you... um would give equally to what is being given to you in a relationship and they don't want somebody else to have that it feels like heaven on earth when i'm with you what i just say exactly and they don't want somebody else to have that with you and i want to take this all the way so if they saw you with another person right pile two and you guys are not in anything committed or serious or might have just been dating or things have been stagnant this would um cause them to want to move things to the next level they would not leave it in um the state that it's in right now they would definitely make sure you knew how they felt about you and how they want to protect you is what i heard how they will pounce on anybody trying to take you away from them is what i heard that they will be fiercely loyal to you is what i heard okay so now with the tiger the tiger stands for strength power courage and ambition so i believe that this person is a person who is courageous and who is ambitious and who may be kind of powerful. However, I believe that your love may make this person a little bit weak, but they would definitely, if they saw you with somebody else, they would step into their power and their courage. If this person has not moved anything forward because of fear, they see you on the arm of somebody else, they would release that fear. This is a person who does like truth, honesty, justice, and integrity. So if they weren't operating in those aspects, and they saw you with somebody else, they would turn that around, they would do a complete 180 and they would be acting in those aspects. They would also want to overcome any obstacles that would keep you from them. Now, with the orangutan, the orangutan stands for persistence, intelligence, and wisdom, and easing of the weary spirit. So you definitely would make their spirit weary if you were with somebody else, but they would try to have patience while they would be persistent with you. They definitely would not give up. I told you they're holding on tight to you, all right? They would use their intelligence and wisdom. They would try to be logical about their reasoning when it comes to how to get you away from this person is what I said. They would not be flexible because <laughs> the orangutan stands for flexibility. They would not be flexible. There is no flexibility with you being on anybody else's arm is what 
I heard. This would also cause them to self-reflect though. So whatever they weren't doing to cause you to be with somebody else, they would reflect on that and try to change that. They would also look at you and use their discernment and foresight. Now, remember, I came over here and said that some of them may look at you different, you know, depending on the situation, if they saw you on the arm of somebody else, so they would really then tap into their intuition and their insight. And they would try to see if they see any signs. They would try to see if they could get nonverbal cues from you. Because, you know, uh, monkeys really deal with nonverbal cues. So they will watch your actions. Look at them. Didn't, ain't they lurking? Look at that there. They will watch your actions. They see you on the arm of somebody else. They're watching because they feel you are the one. It will confuse them. It will confuse them because they'll be like, wait a minute. I thought you were the one, pile two. I thought you were the one for me. You know, it's pure heaven on earth with you. I've never met a person as pure as you. So it will confuse them. It will confuse them because they will be confused about the feelings that they have for you. But they would still take action. They're still not going to let you go, but it would confuse them. So let's go ahead. And then the overall energy for all four piles, as far as the animal vibration that your person would be in if they saw you on the arm of somebody else is weaving a web. So everybody's person will be strategic. They will be trying to, to leave, weave. I can't even speak. They will be trying to leave a trap, weave a web, get you stuck back in their energy. Somehow they would be trying to snag you back up because they would not want you to be on the arms of somebody else, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're gonna get into my journey of love, Oracle. I don't know why I was intuitively called to shuffle the tarot, but I was. So we're gonna get into this journey of love, Oracle. And we're just gonna further clarify the energies that your person would be in if they saw you on, look at that there. If they saw you on the arm of someone else, and then we'll get some tarot on to see how that behavior will play out in the 3D. Clear the energy of this deck. And then we'll get some love messages from my Keep It 100 deck and feelings exposed. And I'll get you out of here, okay? So the first one that came out was Empress. Look at that there with I know you are the one. So if they saw you on the arm of somebody else, one, they would be devastated because they'd be like, somebody took my empress. But if they did not realize that you were their empress, their divine counterpart, whether masculine or feminine, Pile two, seeing you on the arm of somebody else would give them that epiphany. They would not want somebody else to have all that beautiful energy that you display. What else, person? Look at this here. Melodramatic. Yes, they would be melodramatic. I'm trying to tell you. And do you see? Hold up. Nah. -uh. Do you see this person all laid out? Y'all, that would be your person. Your person would be so dramatic if they saw you with somebody else or if they thought they lost you i mean so dramatic and they would let everybody know Every, and they might almost blame you like it's your fault like look how pile two broke my heart okay look at that there you would affect their self-esteem why because you are magic you are not empress energy it would affect their self-esteem it'll knock them down a peg to lose somebody like you pile two and if they had like, you know, unhealthy self-esteem, again, it would knock them down. No ego. And look, combative. Now, didn't I say somebody might want to fight? Some laying of the dog on hands? Absolutely. Look at that there with that combative. Yeah, they'll they be ready to fight whoever, okay, is trying to take their empress away, whether masculine or feminine. Like I said, they would not be having that. Angel number 58 is the angel of the mint wealth and prosperity so they feel that you are so valuable that you are something that cannot be replaced and they definitely are not going to lose you not at all the eight is standing out on there which is red so they would really be trying to hold on to the foundation of you guys they would have strong conviction about that it would take them a lot of strength and willpower just to let you be with somebody else and not do anything about it they would not have that. 63 breaks down to a nine. They would be in a very defensive energy if you were to be with someone else, okay? And it would make them extremely angry. I was just brought down to that yellow. And then I just heard, what about that pure soul? Because I was brought to the white. So they would kind of feel like you weren't as pure as they thought if they saw you with somebody else. Now that is crazy as all get out, but that's what I just heard. I told you it would take their view a little bit about you, even though it's unwarranted. 
it still would taint their view about you a little bit. I was trying to look at the bottom of the deck. Look at that deer. Melodramatic and mel I'm trying to tell you, you would get, oh, they would be so sad, Pile too. With the melancholy, they would be so sad. Like their life is ending if they lost you. Okay, this person is in love with you for real. Look at that there. Cut to the Ace of Cups. I can't make it up. And the four of wands, look at that there. Okay, now listen, this could be somebody you're married to with that four of wands. This could be a twin. If you believe in twin flames, high level soulmates. But with the um, ace of cups and the four of wands, they would just feel like their vision of a happy home would be destroyed. Look at that there. If you was with somebody else, look at that. Clear the energy of this deck. Okay, let's go ahead and clarify. Let's see how that behavior would be if they saw you on the arms of somebody else. And look, I cut to the lovers and the three of cups. Look at that there. Again, this person feels you are a soulmate to them, a divine counterpart with that three of cups. If you guys are in separation, they want to reconcile. If there was a third party involved and that caused you to want to be with somebody else, they don't like that. They want to stop that because they want you guys to celebrate together. They want those joyous memories back with you. Look at that. Okay, so let's go ahead and clarify person with going in safety in the shadows is sometimes necessary how would that play out if you saw pile two with somebody else do you see this the king of wands you better say it the king of wands pile two person absolutely they would be brave they will come in with all that machismo with all that charisma they will come and try to woo you off of your feet Feet. They would come in very charming, flirtatious, and they would stand their ground against anybody trying to take their territory. Now, I just want you to notice, do you see how your person came in as a king, okay? And they didn't come in as no knight or no page. They came in as a king, right? I'm coming to get my territory. In this picture, this person got a little blood on their lip, okay? I'm trying to tell you, they trying to come for somebody juggler, you heard me? They're not letting nobody take you. Look at this. Look at this here with the page of swords. Yeah, because they done spied on you. They've been watching. Look at that. You see, they've been watching. So they would watch you. Any way that they can watch you, they will watch you. And they would see how you interact with that person. They would see if you interact with that person the way you interact with them is what I just heard. They want to see if your heart was truly pure to them is what I just heard. Was your love really true is what I just heard. Yes, this person would dissect the heck out of you being with somebody else pile two so now this is just for fun right but if you are dealing with someone and y'all either separated or y'all is a no contact or whatever the case may be and you are deciding to entertain other people i would not flaunt that in this person's face if you want anything to re-spark up with this person this person has a jealous streak this person does not like their emotions played with whatsoever. And although that they are in love with you, I feel like this person like puts you on a pedestal. I feel like this person like has you in like this like glass box, like, you know, do not break. Even in an emergency, like do not break. Like you are so precious. You're so pure. You could do no wrong type of vibe in their eyes. So if they saw you with someone else, I'm telling you, it would just, it would taint their view and it would devastate them. But more so, it would tank their view. It would just confuse the heck out of them is what I'm getting. Okay, spirit. With the orangutan, which is attached yet suffocating. How would your behavior be, person, if you saw pile two with somebody else? Dang, a whole lot. Look at this, dear. Okay, that's way too many. Whoa, whoa. Let me see. Look at that there. Okay, we're going to just take these two because that's just way too many. We have the lovers and the eight of pentacles so with the attached yet suffocated again they would be contemplating so if this person if you've been with this person if this person has put in work in the relationship and all of a sudden they saw you with somebody else they will question the work that they put in with you again they will question if you were truly a soulmate of theirs if you were truly a lover of theirs and i know that sounds weird as heck but this is how this person thinks Okay, this person in their mind, regardless of whatever they do or how they are acting, feels that you belong to them, feels that you were created just for them. And even if they are not ready to give you what you want, 
in their mind, they feel you should be like waiting. They feel like you shouldn't be with anyone else. That is the vibe that I'm getting. And if this person never did put in the work, never did cherish you like that man is looking at that woman, that's what they would do. They would then not just try to attach themselves to you energetically. They would definitely be trying to attach themselves in the physical realm. They would be trying to really solidify something with you because this person truly does feel like you are the one. And the thought of you giving your body to somebody else and then putting that work in on that body, I mean, just suffocates them. Almost chokes them up is what I'm hearing. They cannot take the thought of somebody being with you. Person, how is that behavior playing out with the Empress card? If you saw a pile two with somebody else, we look at that there with the heartbreak, three of swords and the justice. Look at that there. Okay, I got two things with this. One, it would tear their hearts out. Do you see that girl? Just like that, they would be so heartbroken. But with this justice here, they could feel like that's karma coming back to them if they broke your heart, if they weren't cherishing you, if they weren't putting you first, they would feel that that is some type of karma. The other thing that I'm getting is it would just make them very imbalanced, okay? They would feel like they have been betrayed, done wrong. And it, again, it would break their heart. Do you see how her heart is like out of her chest? It would be like you ripped their heart out of their chest. They would not like it at all. And because I get an angry vibe and a jealous vibe, some of them may want to take revenge with that justice card, okay? Keep that in mind. With the melodramatic person how you playing that out in your behavior look at that there you better say it look at that there with the four swords now look you see them laying down on the ground being comforted over here right and then you see them laying right here absolutely that's the energy that they would be in that is so synchronistic okay they would be uh, in the energy of just wanting to heal wanting to be alone not really wanting to speak just lay there just rest in their emotions they would be depressed bottom of the deck look magician they would feel like they can't manifest a new beginning with you they would feel like what's the word i'm looking for they would just feel like things aren't going well for them because the magician can't create anything in their life and with the melodramatic it will block their creativity there we go it will block their creativity it would just block their spark for life. They wouldn't want to create. They wouldn't want to do anything. They would just want to lay there and be sad. Look at that there. Oh my. Okay. With the you are magic self-esteem person, how would your behavior be? How would you play that out if you saw pile two on the arms of someone else? We got the king of swords. You better say it. And the wheel. Listen. One, I got two things with that too. With you are magic and the self-esteem, with the king of swords, this might make them be honest with themselves. It might make them really see themselves for who they truly are and how they have been treating you. And then with the wheel, they could feel like this again is karma, that this is faded if you were on the arm of someone else, but they would also want to turn that wheel. They would also want to rectify that. With the you are magic and the king of swords, it could also make them very cold, very harsh. Their words could be very cutting to you depending on how deep their relationship is going back to this tiger and going back to they feel that you are to be with them and only them. And again, they might want to dish you out some karma for breaking their heart. So this person, this is not a person you want to play with or you want to try to make jealous. Not at all, pile two, because they are not having it. Remember, combative, all right? Spirit, let's go ahead and clarify combative person how would you play that out if you saw pile two i'm almost afraid to ask your person <laughs> how would you feel if you saw pile two in the arms of somebody else look at that there y'all the devil and the six of pentacles with combative oh snap oh snap okay so listen y'all listen it would be very, very volatile if this person saw you on the arms of someone else. I'm almost getting, they would think that you cheated on them, whether y'all in something solid 
or not. This person would be out for vengeance. Do you hear me? With that six of pentacles, whatever it is that you doing out in them streets, they about to do it. They gonna try to do it better. Do you hear me? They are tit for freaking tat. They will be tit for tat. Look at that there with the seven of swords. Absolutely. And they will be arms up just like that. Happily running to deceive you to get you back because they feel like they done been betrayed. Whoa. All right. Let's go ahead and clarify this melancholy. Pile two, y'all even took a turn. <laughs> okay, person. How would your behavior be? With this melancholy, if you saw pile two on the arms of somebody else, look at this here, the eight of cups and the three of pentacles. Look at that there. They would attempt to walk away from you, pile two. They would try to walk away and they will walk away in a sneaky uh, way with that seven of swords, almost maybe baiting you back in to get your emotions back with them and then dip. Look at that there. And with the three of pentacles, then they would try to keep you in a third party. That's what they would look at that there. They wouldn't want to partner with you anymore. Look at that. They would be so angry and so distraught. I'm telling you, this person got a big thing about loyalty and something about your innocence and your purity, pile two. I don't know what you did to your person, but you know, I was doing this for fun, but your person is serious. Like your person would not have it, okay? Would not have it. They would walk away. They would walk away. Look. It will be an MF and tower. You heard me. It will be a destruction of this union. Whether y'all is committed or not committed. I don't care where y'all at on the scale of what this relationship is. They see you on the arm of somebody else. It will pretty much be a wrap. They might still try to hold on to you energetically with that orangutan. You know what I'm saying? They will watch the heck out of you. But this person would be angry and they would be angry for a while. And I feel like this person would be on get back. Okay. So be careful with y'all persons pile to. Whoa. They, they, listen, they in love. Makes sense. It's a thin line between love and hate now. Okay. So this is my keep it 100 deck. And let's just see what they would say to you. If they saw you in the arm of somebody else, I'm nervous, pile two. Person, <laughs> I heard you should be. Okay, person, I'm telling you, this person is not playing. What you got to say, person? Don't let someone steal your heart from me. And I'm taking that as a warning. Normally when I get that, I'll be like, oh, they don't want you to, you know, let somebody steal your heart. No, no, this is a warning. Don't fool yourself, pal, too, okay? Don't you let somebody steal your heart from me and think I'm still going to be there, okay? Uh-oh, what else, person? Uh-oh, look, man, hold on. You deserve the spotlight. So some of them are saying, let me see, can I grab that? Yeah, some of them are saying that they may not have shown you the attention that they were supposed to show you and you do deserve the spotlight and if that caused you to be with somebody else because they didn't give you that attention they it's not they understand they can see why you chose to be with somebody else they do not understand it still but they can see <laughs> They can see why you chose to be with somebody else. And they just feel in general you deserve the spotlight. That's just because you're in the Empress energy, okay? Hi, y'all. That's just because you're in the Empress energy, that statement. Let's get back to how we used to be. So they would come and say if they saw you with somebody else, let's get back to how we used to be. But again, I told you this person might do that just to get back at you okay let's see what else person how would you feel if you saw a pile two on the arm of someone else i should have thought this through and this is a true statement they would think that they would think dang i should have thought this through maybe i should have given the spotlight pile two maybe i should have treated pile two better but i believe that's a thought they would keep to themselves i don't believe that they would share that with you look these don't want to stay in the deck let's see what they are fakes get excited now this is this is the energy right here come on through person this is the energy they would feel like you are a fake 
They would, I'm telling you, this person would be on get back. They would try to expose you. They would watch you. They would be very vindictful, revengeful. It would not go well. You are a ball of happiness. And this is why it's because you took that joy away. You took all of that love away from them and they're just angry. And again, didn't I say something about, I thought maybe it was uh pile one. I thought I said something about self-recognition. Yeah, that orangutan. That orangutan causes a person to have self-recognition. So it would make them really realize their behavior. It would almost put a mirror to them of why they lost you. Bottom of the deck. You helped mold me into something better. Now, what did I just say? Y'all saw me just look at the deck. Absolutely. That's what it would do. It would cause them to be a better person. So even if it didn't happen with you, it would in turn change them. So whoever they got with next, they wouldn't treat them the way they treated you. Pile two, if they were treating you in a way that was not healthy. You are my angel. Yes, look, and it says, I noticed you. Did you notice me? I told you they'd be watching and lurking. They would watch you. They wouldn't want to let you go, but they would be too prideful, I think, to try to make amends. And you are my angel. That's how they view you. They do view you as an angel, and they do view you as someone who deserves the spotlight. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to my feelings exposed deck. We'll get a few messages out of here and I'll go ahead and let you go. Pile two. I lost it all. That's exactly how they would feel if they saw you on the arms. Look, I just chose not to do better. I'm trying to tell you that's this person's energy. Absolutely. They, I feel like this is the type of person that may have been in relationships with people where they really didn't have to do that much work. You know, they pretty much had things handed to them. Clear the energy of this deck. And if you are in that Empress energy, you would demand somebody put in the work. Oh, y'all, I done did it again. I forgot to give y'all, y'all songs. I did that in pile one. Hold on. Let's do y'all channel songs. First song, I want you around. And y'all cannot pronounce this lady name. So we're going to say S-A and I'm going to put it in the description. The lines that stood out. It's not that I don't want you here. Look at that there. So I'm telling you again, this person did not truly appreciate you, did not show you what you meant to them. It says, it's something about the way you stare in my eyes. So they like your eyes, pile two. If you guys are interacting with each other, they really like to stare in your eyes. I know that I don't make things clear, no. So they are well aware that you may be confused of where you stand with them. I fall for you every time I try to resist. So this is a person resisting you at this time, whether y'all together or not. They're not fully giving themselves to you. I don't want to kiss you. Yeah, I just want to feel you. Feel you. I want you around. Goes back to this orangutan. Do you see how they're just holding on to that? You know what I'm saying? That's how they feel. They just want you in their energy. I get that this may be a person who may not be ready for love, may not really know how to conduct themselves with love, maybe have never really been in a serious relationship or haven't been in one in a long time. And although they are not ready for you, they don't want to lose you. And I think that because they're not ready for you, it would devastate them if they saw you on the arms of somebody else pile two. It's almost like this person wants to keep you in a glass jar until they get ready for you or they mature enough to be the proper person for you. And I don't even feel like this person is like entertaining a whole bunch of options while they're doing it. I do feel like this person is working on themselves. I just feel like this person feels you guys both know y'all destined to be together. So why would you entertain somebody else? That's the vibe that I'm getting. The second song was Forever Mine by the OJ. And I think I said something about this person feels you are theirs. And the lines that stood out was Forever Mine. Ah, oh, I'm so glad because it gets better with time. Oh girl, I like what you like. You like what I like. So this person feels you guys are very compatible. And we were made for each other. What did I just say? You are that someone I've been hoping. I've been looking for all my days. And I truly do believe that. I truly do believe this person has been searching for love or wanting love and feels that they have found that in you. That's why they will be so devastated if you were with somebody else, pile two. Don't you ever think about leaving. They never, no matter what is going on, 
in this situation, pile two. They don't want you to ever think about leaving. This person loves you, loves you, just may not be ready for you at this time, okay? Regardless if y'all together or not. So if you together and things aren't going the way that you want, you feel like your person may be a little immature in love, you want to help them then because this person loves you. They just don't really know how to conduct themselves. So pile two's person. What would you like to say? What feelings would you like to expose the pile to if you saw them with someone else? There is no one as real as you. So that's what they would let you know. I don't want you to be with somebody else, pile two. There's no one as real as you. And if they didn't say it, this is what they would feel. They would feel they could not replace you. We have let them talk. So if people were gossiping about you being with someone else, if they saw you, they wouldn't care about that. They don't really care about what other people said. All right. So with the let them talk, I think they just wouldn't acknowledge it. They would act like they didn't hear. So if somebody came to them like, hey, you know, pile two with somebody else. They would be in the energy. Let them talk. They're not going to acknowledge it. They act like they didn't hear. But deep down, it is killing them. I try and I try. Now, this is what they would tell themselves while they in that melancholy energy, you know, laying all on the floor, being melodramatic. This is what they would say. I try and I try. But you see. They have not fully tried because they didn't put in the energy in the work. They said, I needed, I should have thought this through. Okay. You deserve the spotlight. All right. I see your face everywhere. And that came out in a note in pile one. So they wouldn't be able to get you off of their mind. They would be constantly reminded of you. And that could be so that they could, you know, level up and do that shadow work if this is a divine connection. All right and make your request known and then if they even were in a revenge energy right was all angry and whatnot wanted to get back at you but this is your divine counterpart and they finally woke up to themselves then they would be in this energy oh where did i put the card then they would be in this energy of make your request known then they would be ready to really fully give you their heart really fully express their love to you because this person is in love with you right and if you're with this person i feel that this person shows you that they are in love with you but i feel like there's still some type of block i don't know if it's a chip if it's uh there's still something that prevents them from giving fully because you wouldn't be entertaining somebody else. And yes, this is hypothetical, but I'm saying if this was a situation, if they were truly doing what they needed to do, you wouldn't be entertaining someone else. And look, came back out again. I lost it all. That's exactly how they would feel. But I don't think that they would tell you that. They would probably tell you there's uh, no one as real as you. And they would probably say, make your request known. But they would not tell you they see you everywhere and they constantly think about you. They would not tell you that all is lost if they lost you. And they definitely would not let anybody know how they felt with that let them talk, okay? And they would get out of that illusion of I try, I try. And they would get into this, make your request known. All right, L2, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you clarity and insight into how your person would feel, think, and react if they saw you in the arms of someone else. If you enjoyed the reading, hit the thumbs up. If you enjoyed kicking it with your girl, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can be alerted next time I drop a video and join the love and all that goodish gang. We have a good time over here. Comment section, those leaving comments. I love y'all. Go ahead and drop comments. If it resonates, I'll jump in there and I will respond. If you were drawn to another pile, go over there. I will see you there. And if not, pile two. Thank you so much for being here with me. I enjoy channeling your person and have a wonderful day. Peace, love, and light. Hey, hey, pile three. Welcome to your reading. So if you did not watch the intro, my name is Empress Goddess of Healing and I am so happy the universe allowed us to cross paths today. Those that are new, welcome to the channel. Those returning and those who have joined the Love and All That Goodish Gang, y'all, thank you so much. Y'all blowing my mind with the numbers. Thank you for the support. Y'all know I appreciate every like, every comment, every view. Those in the comment section, thank you for kicking it with your girl. Keep dropping them comments. I love responding to you guys, all right? 
And if you have not joined the Love and All That Goodish Gang, we have a good time over here. Go ahead and click that button and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you can be alerted. So before we get into the reading, you guys, I want to send a special shout out to Neela by way of the UK, specifically from England. She reached out to me about a week and a half ago for a personal reading. And because she was the first to reach out to me through YouTube, I offered her a free reading. In turn, she chose to donate to the channel. So I thank you so much for the donation. I am so happy you enjoyed your reading. Y'all, she gave me no information. You heard me? Zilch. And I was accurate. I was able to accurately describe her situation. Okay, so if you do want to book me for a personal reading, I am available. I always forget that because I just be up here kicking it. But <laughs> my email address is in the description below. You can email me and I can let you know my rates and then we can discuss all of that there. So enough chit chat and let's go ahead and get into the reading pile three. This reading is about how your person would feel if they saw you on the arms of someone else. Okay, so I do have a channel song for you. But before we get into that, Let's go ahead and get into the energy. And I'm going to try pile three not to forget your song before I get into the reading because pile one and two, I'm dang near to the end. And I remember it's a channel song. OK, so <laughs> hopefully I don't do that with you guys. So let's start with your person's energy that they would be in if they saw you with someone else. OK, you guys have the chimpanzees and this is my animal vibes oracle and it would be too many opinions. So what I'm getting off rip. Pile three is that this person may not believe it right away if somebody said that you were on the arms of someone else. I'm getting that this person would almost need to see it with their own eyes because I'm getting this person feels that you will be loyal to them. This person feels like you wouldn't like dip on them whether you guys are committed or not. So they really wouldn't be trying to listen to the chit chatter. Next we have, I'm not understanding exactly. This is exactly how they would look <laughs> if people came to them and told them that you were dating someone else. They, they wouldn't understand. And even if they saw with their own eyes, they still wouldn't understand because I'm hearing, I don't see why you would want to date somebody else when you got me, is what I just heard on a cocky type of tip too when that message came through. And then we have, and I think these are called, they're whales, but they are called, hold on y'all, the narwhal, because they have those swords, right? And this is no matter how you slice it, there's always multiple sides to the story. So again, they necessarily wouldn't really believe it. They will want to hear your side of the story too, as to why you are entertaining other people, why you are dating someone else, again, when you have them. And this is not, this doesn't mean you guys are in a committed uh, union because the messages over here come from the hustler, the player, or the street cat. So you guys chose the energies of the hustler, the player, the street cat. So this person knows that they entertain other options. And you may know that they entertain other options too. You guys might just be singling and mingling and just kicking it, you know, here and there, or just, you know, this is one on your roster. You know what I'm saying? But they feel like they supposed to have a roster. Okay. And you one of the people on the roster, but you ain't supposed to have no team either. Now who do that? You got a roster. I got a roster. You heard me? So anyway, before we get into these messages and you don't have to be dealing with a hustler, a street clap, or a player, but again, out the love box, these are the energies that were channeled for pile three. So let's go ahead and um, do the chimpanzee, and I'm going to tell you some characteristics of the chimpanzee, right? The chimpanzees are very clever. So the person you are dealing with or the person on your mind is very clever. I mean, beyond compare. So they know how to move. They know how to speak. They're a great communicator and they also pay attention to non-verbal cues. So they watch your body language, okay? They watch your actions more than the words that come out of your mouth. Very sharp mind. They are natural problem solvers and they have a lighthearted nature. So the person you're dealing with may not always be in the energy to take things seriously and may not take it seriously if they heard you was with someone else. Very playful and expressive. Also, chimpanzees teach you that there are many levels in relationships and how you need to make sure you take care of each level of that relationship so that you can have a healthy relationship. And I think if this person saw you on the arms of somebody else, pile three, even if they're in that energy of a player, a hustler, or a street cat, 
even if they didn't show you because they're confused, it may make them look in for a little bit depending on how deep those emotions are for you. Now, with the Nara whale, this would cause a transformation in their life. So again, depending on how deep their emotions are for you, pile three, it may make them want to get out of those player ways that they really felt that they could lose you. It may make them want to change some things, be more in unison with you, be more um, in partnership and togetherness with you because you see this group of all of these whales, all right? Teaches you how to listen to your inner voice. So they would really go within because remember, they would be confused. They don't understand. They would really go within to see why you dating somebody else, you know what I'm saying? And also realizing how their emotions can affect their daily life. So they would definitely try to keep those emotions in wrap. They definitely wouldn't want those emotions filtering into their day-to-day -day life in regards to you. So they would definitely like compartmentalize. I feel like this is a person who can compartmentalize their emotions and they would definitely do that with you in regards to you being with someone else. So it would, it would just confuse them. It wouldn't necessarily make them upset it would just confuse them and maybe make them question your loyalty. And then with the wolf, look at that there. The wolf stands for loyalty. Y'all saw me and family and friendship. If you are around this person's family, they saw you with somebody else. They may not bring you around the family anymore. They may not want to have teamwork. Okay. It would make them very wild inside and they would feel threatened. Even if they didn't show a pile three, they would feel Threaten, and it would cause them to have a lack of trust in you. So I, I'm telling you, pile two and three was kind of like funny. So this person could have a whole bunch of options, right? And you know this, and this doesn't make your trust wane from them, or you know, you in a single energy too, you really don't care. You know what you're dealing with. I'm assuming if you're dealing with a player, a hustler, a street cat, if you resonate with that energy, then you know what you're walking into. I hope you know what you're walking into. Please walk into that with your eyes wide open. That's why I said, you got a Rasta, I got a Rasta. I, I, I know what will be going on in a situation like this, okay? But even though they got all these options, right? If you had them too, <laughs> for some reason, it would cause them not to trust you, which is so funny. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into the song. And your song channel was Put It Down by Brandy featuring Chris Brown. Now, we have two people, a female and a male. So I'm getting y'all both, you know, could be in this energy. Pastor, you could think the same type of way. You could be in that hustler, player, street cat energy as well. Even if you are a, a, a feminine, okay, doesn't matter the energy. So I feel like you guys may be just feeling the same way because we have Brandy and Chris Brown. And this is what it says. Ooh, your talk game so tough. Damn, I love it all. Even the way you flex, that's what turns me on. Ooh, you make me weak just because of the way you are. Because everybody in it knows that you're a star. But I'm still letting you know you got the sweetest heart. Any man that wants it, babe, he gonna have to work hard. From what I see, you got what I want. That's just half the part. Gotta see what you put on it to make sure you are the one. If you put it down right, like the way I want it, play your cards right, maybe we could fall in love. So pile three, I got a lot from that, okay? One, y'all both got a little swag about yourselves, okay? So that's one thing that attracts you guys to each other. Both could get a lot of tension as well both of you guys could look at each other like a star or be viewed by other people you know like a star again just getting a lot of adoration and attention from other people yet you guys both have sweet hearts both want love so if you guys are in the energy of juggling other people having a lot of options you guys could truly be afraid of love you see what i'm saying could have been hurt in love and so you want to make sure that you have these different options of one hurts you, then you have another, or you feel like you cannot get everything you want out of one person. 
And so you juggle options. And then it says, any man's gonna have to work hard. I feel like you guys both feel that way also. The person on your mind and you. In order to have my heart, you're gonna have to put in the work. You're gonna have to really show me that I can trust you, that you will be loyal, that you will be down for me is what I'm hearing. So I'm getting you both are in that energy as well. Maybe a test of wills here. From what I see, you got what I want. So on the surface, you guys look at each other and you guys feel like, hey, this could be a person compatible with me. This could be a person that I would want to be with, but that's only half the part. So that lets me know both of you guys are very sexual. Both of you guys want a satisfying partner in the bedroom. So yes, you can stimulate my mind. Yes, you have to put in the work. Yes, we could have fun and be compatible, but if you can't lay that thing right, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's going to work. Okay, come on through. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's have the whole package. Come on through. And says, if you put it down right like the way I want it, play your cards right, maybe we can fall in love. Now, with that line, I got something different, though. Pile three, with that line, I got with your person. Your person may walk around with the peen of the poon, you know, like it is dripped in gold. You see what I'm saying? And feel that they could just get anybody and have a tub full of people just waiting, you know, because they feel like they got that work down there. You know what I'm saying? So I was getting that with that. And I feel like if that's how they truly feel, I feel like if y'all ain't never got down, you know what I'm saying? And, and when you do, you're going to humble them. And if y'all have, you have humbled them. You heard me? So with this person and this person too, if they saw you on the arms, I just got that. If they saw you on the arms of somebody else, this person may try to come on back in and, and lay the pipe or, or, you know, put that box on you thinking that, you know, all they got to do is, you know, give it to you right and you'll forget all these other people. And I think that's something with the ego as well. I do feel like this person has a big ego. So let's go ahead. That's just the energy. Let's go ahead and get into the love messages that they have for you. And remember, this is the energy representing the player, the hustler, or the street cat. You do not have to deal with that type of person, but this is that energy. We have the sky's the limit, baby. All right, and what I get from this is that this person is a smooth talker. This person may finesse you. This person may come in acting like they want to give you the world. But remember, we got a whole bathtub full of people, okay? I like that game you got going back to put it down by Brandy. So they do, I told you, you guys both have swag. So they do like the game that you have. That is a true statement. And they say that with confidence because they think they got game too, okay? There's a lot of ego and pride over here in pile three with that yellow, right? It's time for me to grow up. Now, this is crown chakra. Now, I believe this would come in if they saw you on the arms of somebody else and it was actually somebody significant, somebody that they thought could really take you away from them, somebody that they thought that you really could fall in love with, not just, you know, somebody on your team, somebody that they really thought you would give their heart, your heart to. Oh, I think that would spark that change in them, that transformation, and then make them rethink and want to grow up if they really felt like you are somebody that they don't want to lose out of their life. I'm done giving my attention to others. Absolutely. So if this person was not giving you their undivided attention, again, you know, entertaining other people, then if they saw you on the arm of somebody else, oh, they would want to stop that. They would definitely, even if they didn't cut them all out, they would definitely start spending more time with you. They would definitely start making you a priority. But again, they still would be confused. And they still would be watching your actions, okay? They would watch to see, if, did you just do that to make me jealous? Did you do that because I wasn't giving you the attention and respect you deserve, so you had to put me in my place? You know, they would really want to know what the motive was behind that. And this person would not show you if they were angry or anything like that. This person would play it off. Like, you know, they don't care, but the overall energy for all four piles is the spider weaving the web. They would be strategically planning something in the background, though, that you didn't know. So this is my journey of love, Oracle deck. Let me clear the energy of this deck. And let's just get three cards to see how further the energy would play out if they saw you in the arms of someone else, pile three. And we have, look at this here, confused. Now, I'm telling you, you will confuse the heck out this person. First, we got, I'm not understanding. <laughs> and then we have confused. They would just be walking around in the days, pile three, not, not knowing what to do. Look, and they would only be seeing things in black and white. So they would have like tunnel vision. So again, we had, what is this? 
this card was too many opinions and this was is multiple sides to the story so they would just be confused what information is actually correct especially if they haven't talked to you yet or and they haven't seen it or they just thought and did not have a conversation with why you want to arm with somebody else yeah they would just be walking lost they wouldn't like that and also it would distort their feminine energy whether they are a masculine or a feminine i'm trying to tell you that energy in that sacral chakra will be distorted which means they may go out and try to sleep with a whole bunch of people try to make you mad okay might turn and, and try to be promiscuous or they would start being codependent with you and really emotionally unstable all right what else what else person how would you feel what energy would you display if you saw a pile three with another person, you see how, y'all know my cards jump. So you see how long I'm shuffling. That means they don't want to talk. They really wouldn't express too much, okay? We have, look, mature woman and on top of the world. I get two things with that. They could try to go and get with someone else to make you jealous, but I think they would really look at you as a mature woman then. They would look at you like, dang, I could have lost something really special with pile three. Three. I think they also would go and talk to somebody who was mature of the feminine energy to see how to better navigate this with you. I don't necessarily feel that this person would talk it out with you. I think they would talk to other people on top of the world. This is how they would act. They will portray themselves out in the world like they are on top of the world, that this does not bother them, that they don't care that you are dating other people. But I'm telling you, it is killing them inside. Look at that there. Look at this here. Come on through. Okay, done. Proper planning. Now, didn't I say they're going to be planning with that spider? Absolutely. This is what they would be doing in the background. Planning. Trying to figure out, you know, why you talking to other people for one. Why they are not good enough for two is what I heard. So you would affect their self-esteem a little bit. And three, how to get you back. I don't lose people is what I just heard. Okay, so this is a cocky person. Like I said, they don't lose people. All right. And what they said was they don't lose people hoes is what i heard and i'm not calling you that pile three but for those who deal with people who like to refer to women as that or the b word that see see you would put them in you i should say it like this you would affect their ego and you would affect their pride it would be more of an ego thing to try to either uh get you back on their arm or whatever they will be planning would be out of their ego all right. And we have rushing in. And the reason why is because you made all of these emotions flood them. And I get this person doesn't like to really rest in their emotions or maybe play like they don't have emotions. And because you open up them floodgates, they're in a defensive energy towards you. Not necessarily malicious. All right. But I think this is just like a self-defense mechanism and it would just it would trigger that and put them in that. I feel like this person has been hurt in love. And to see you and maybe even have has been cheated on in relationships in the past. So if they saw you with someone else, I think that that would trigger that. I think this is why this person is in a non-committal energy, clear the energy of this deck. So if you are not dealing with a street cat, a hustler or a player, you're dealing with somebody in a non-committal energy. OK, and if that's not the case, then this is not your pile. OK, all right. So let's go ahead and clarify these cards. We're going to start up here. Let's start with too many options. Person. How would your behavior display the not uh, the too many options if you saw a pile three with someone else, the Knight of Swords? Look at that there. Okay, so they come in as a knight, not as a king. So if they heard that you were with someone else of the too many options and they had not seen it, they would let it go in one ear and out the other because the knight rushes in. If they actually saw you they probably would rush and communicate with you and just ask you like what's going on whatever you would say they would take it they would not delve into the conversation and they will walk away but whatever you said would be on that mind they would dissect the heck <laughs> out of what you said because that's about to jump them into this proper plan and look at this here with the ten of swords what did i say they would be distraught. They would feel like it was an ending between you and them. I get that this is the type of person who just like to keep people on the back burner or, you know, I remember like back in the day, I don't know how old you are. I remember like back in the day, dudes would just ask you for your phone number just to say how many phone numbers they got that day. No, not even planning to really like talk to you. That's the type of energy that I'm getting with this person. So you would really keep them in their head. They would just be overthinking. 
everything, not just what you said. They would be overthinking what everybody said. They would be overthinking how it makes them look. This person just would be in their head, okay? With the Norwell, no matter how you slice it, there are multiple sides to the story. Pile three's person, how would your behavior be? How would you play that out if you saw a pile three on the arms of someone else? The nine of wands, look at that there. So, they would be in a very defensive energy towards you, but again, they would not display it. And they would also be a wounded warrior. They would really feel like you wounded them, that you hurt them. They would stand their ground on the outside. Again, they would be stoic. On the outside, they would act like they're not bothered, but they would it would really put them in a very defensive energy and, and maybe even angry because that is red. Bottom of the deck, the four of pentacles, but they would be holding on to you. They would not let you go with that four of pentacles. They would also be thinking over, you know, the structure of y'all. And <laughs> even when I say structure, it gives me like, again, going back to this planning, this person almost disconnects their feelings from people um, or they're like detached from their emotions. They, they do things in a more logical sense. So with the, no matter how you slice it, there's multiple sides to the story story all the the different sides they are getting would make them defensive right but they would still hold on to you like i said they wouldn't even hold on to the information they would still hold on to you give me one more about this four of pentacles i'm not really getting a full story clarify this four of pentacles the nine of pentacles what i say hold on to you because they know you ultimate fulfillment you satisfy this person i don't give a dang about all these options you satisfy them pile three and they will be holding on to you they're not going to let you go okay they would hold on to you i don't necessarily know if they would step it up now i did say over here it's time for me to grow up and it says i'm done giving my attention to other things so with these cards right here, if you get them in a defensive energy enough, they just might. And they feel like they could lose you and they feel like they got to hold on really, really tightly and put in more work than they would like to. And you are the nine of pentacles. They might step up. Go ahead and clarify for me, spirit. I'm confused. Well, I should say person, how would your behavior be towards pile three if you saw them with another person? The page of pentacles. Look at that there. So they would be trying to give you an offer. They would be trying to manifest something with you, but they would be confused on how to do so. They wouldn't know how to do it. And you see how they came out as a knight and they came out as a page. So this person, you know, may act like they're mature. This person may act like they have all their stuff together and things like that, but that's all a front because deep down inside, this person has some insecurities. Again, why they have so many people. So with I'm confused, they may feel that they need to relearn you. They may feel like they need to just go back to the drawing board because I'm getting this person is confused of how they lost you in the first place. It's almost like they keep people, like I said, like in this tub, they just keep people waiting on them. And I'm getting that most people don't leave them. So if you left them pile three, they just don't understand it. They feel like they done lost some of their like juice they swag for you to leave bottom of the deck four swords look at that there look at that there yes yes they would be sad they would be laying just like that they would feel like they need to rest mentally <laughs> they feel like they would need to rest mentally is what i heard pile three and they would want to have some type of healing conversation is what i heard I wouldn't be spitting no game in that conversation is what I just heard. So with the page of pentacles and the four swords on that, I'm confused. If they were confused enough, again, with you being on somebody else's arm, yeah, they would try to start that all over again. They would approach you in a whole nother way. Pile three. And they would come with some communication in the right way. Some communication that would heal this and not hurt this is what I heard. Okay, now we're going to go over here to this confused over here person. Because you confused double time. How would this play out if you saw pile three up on the arms of somebody else? Look at it there. Heart break. You would rip their heart out of their chest. And not only that, they would be confused. 
pile three of how you broke their heart in the first place. I feel this person doesn't give their heart to people and they will be confused how you did in the first place and it will cause a tower. Look at that there. It will cause a total shakeup in their life. That's why they will be confused. It would also cause them not to be rigid, not to look at things in black and white, okay? Put a little color into their view so that they can see things from different perspectives. Come on through, okay, with this mature woman. How would that play out, person? How would you behave towards pile three if you saw them on the arm of someone else? We have the eight of pentacles, okay? So if you are a masculine energy dealing with a feminine energy and they act immature, they would then put in the work to be that mature woman. If not, a mature woman could be telling them they ain't put in the work, they need to put in the work and they would start to do that, okay? They would get wisdom from someone else. The eight of pentacles is not just about hard work. It's about being by yourself. It's about really learning, putting in the work in your craft. And so I feel that they would then really start trying to learn you properly, going back to this page of pentacles and really get into the mature energy. And if they are a masculine, they will be trying to mature their sacral chakra, that divine feminine energy of their emotions. So they're not emotionally manipulative, that they can give their emotions freely, that they're not afraid to open up their heart, that they can communicate their emotions. Okay, come on through with that transformation. Look at that with death at the bottom of the deck. You better say it, spirit. Absolutely. It will cause a great transformation for this person. Mm. Hmm. It would be a silent transformation too, because I'm telling you, this person wouldn't say it. Do you see how in the death card, how her lips look like they're sewn shut? Yeah, they wouldn't tell you. They wouldn't tell you about this. I feel like they would just pop right back up on the scene, ready to go. This person would do all of their healing, all of their grieving, all of that without you even knowing it. Pile three. On the top of the world, person, how would your behavior be if you saw pile three on the arms of somebody else? Look at that there. The 10 of wands and this is the Angel de la Nui card, which is the wish card, right? It's a bonus card. So with the 10 of wands, again, they would act like everything is good, that they are on top of the world, but deep down, this is how they are. Their world is crumbling without you, pile three. You see her with her dress burning, they would feel like it just all went up in flames. Do you see her head down? She is sad. Look, why is cards flying out my hand today? But they would secretly be wishing for a new beginning with you. They would be secretly wishing to get things back on track. I don't even know where the car went, y'all. Hold on, let me pause y'all, cause I don't know where the car went. Okay, I'm back, y'all. And just like that car flipped out my hand like that, I feel like that's how they would feel. Like you know, they just you just slipped out their grasp without they even without them even knowing it. Okay, but they definitely would try to manifest you again. They definitely would want a new beginning with you. They just wouldn't show it. I think this person would do all of that in the background. Going back to that planning. Come on, person, let's clarify that. How would your behavior be with this proper planning if you saw a pile three on the arms of someone else? Okay, do y'all see that again? Y'all know my cars jump, so this is something they would want to keep secret. This is something they are tight-lipped about. I don't ever got to shuffle this long, person. You better come on for I ask spirit. That's what I thought. Look, the Knight of Wands. Now, again, we still don't have no king. Okay, so this person is, is not operating in the fullest mature energy that they should. But with the Knight of Wands, with the proper planning, this is when they would start really evaluating those player ways. This is when they would really start figuring out, uh, do I really want all of these um, romantic encounters with these people? Or is Pile 3 enough for me? I love that light that Pile 3 shines on me, but I'm so fiery and I'm so passionate. I got to always go after everything that catches my eye. See, this would be that proper planning. They would then go within. They would then see what, yeah, maybe I don't need a whole bathtub full of chimpanzees. Maybe all I need is Pile 3. Okay, this would also help them to, I heard, be brave with the transformation that is much needed. So not necessarily be brave going towards you, but be brave in stepping in their power to make the necessary changes for their life. This person knows the way that, be, at, I can't even speak. This person knows the way that they behave is not beneficial 
for them. They've been operating in this energy just for a very long time. And maybe you, Pile 3, is that shakeup to get them out of that energy. We have the Five of Cups. Look at that there because it makes them sad. All right. They really don't enjoy being in this energy. They don't really enjoy having fleeting connections. I just feel like that's what they are used to. And they would just be so sorrowful if they lost you. They would be in such remorse and guilt if they lost you, especially if it was due to their player ways because you're something special. Pile three. We've got the nine of pentacles. We have the wish card. This person has been so confused, you know, of, of your actions if you were to be with someone else. This person has deep emotions and feelings for you, may even love you, okay? And I'm getting that they do love you, may not wanna recognize that they love you. We do have a lot of swords and pentacles, so they are in their mind a lot. They like to really rest on things that they can see with their concrete eyes, that they can feel that are tangible in the earthly realm. So they're not that emotional but they have deep emotions for you. Okay, last card, rushing in, person. How would your behavior be if you saw pile three? Now you see how they, they ready for that, but that plan they wanted to take all day? Mm-hmm. What would your actions be, pile three person, with this rushing in? Look at that there with the Knight of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Look at that there. After you crack that heart open, they're going to want to rush in and give you they love. Look at that there because they see a family with you, a firm foundation with you. They see everything with you with that Ten of Pentacles. This is you, whether masculine or feminine. Do you see her with that crown on her head? Do you see her standing there in her glory? Yeah. And then you see all of this up in this tub? Can't compare. Come on through. Can't compare they will be coming in to romance you flirt with you offer you their love take you out on a date if need be they would stop them doggone play ways you heard me they would then really try to be a stand-up person is what i heard i would do things i ain't done for nobody is what i heard i don't do dates is what i just heard come on through you would make me want to do things I've never done is what I heard, pile three. But I can't show you that right now, pile three. I ain't ready to grow up yet, pile three. Even if you walk, pile three, I'm coming to get you is what I heard. You heard me? They said, even if you walk, I'm coming to get you. Look at that there with the judgment and the magician. Okay, so maybe they are dealing with some things right now with this judgment card. Maybe they're not ready to get on alignment yet with you, you know, right now, but they're going to manifest a new beginning for you. So if you guys have ended, if you're not talking or whatever, remember, this is hypothetical, but just in case, you know, all my readings is timeless. They're going to manifest a new beginning with you and they're going to come the right way. So now let's go ahead and get to my Keep It 100 deck, Pile 3, and let's just see if I channeled your person properly. And let's see what Keep It 100 messages they would say if they actually saw you on the arm of someone else. And I am not encouraging, okay, anybody trying to make somebody jealous or, you know, seeing if this is going to play out. Don't do that. Never try to play with anybody's emotions. People out here ain't stable, you know. So I wouldn't suggest that. If you want to not mess with a person, Chuck up them doggone deuces because if a person really love you and want to be with you, they will come trucking back. Trust and believe, okay? I don't know who had to hear that, but there you go. So, let's go ahead and see. Pile three's person. What Keep It 100 messages would you like to say to Pile 3 in regards to you seeing them on the arms of someone else? And I heard catching you on the arms of someone else. Look at that there. Look, they said everything has changed. I came with your person, Pile 3. They said everything has changed. I don't like it. Look. Your sassy ways turn me on. But you know what? It will kind of excite them a little bit. Almost like the player got played in a sense is what I just heard. It will kind of excite them. Almost like they met their match is what I heard. Paradise is real and I can visit it whatever, whenever I want. That's what they would feel. Look at that there. They saw you on somebody else's arm. Pile three. It would spark a change in this person for real. Okay. They might look at you then as the paradise that you truly are. It would spark a change in this person. Yes, absolutely. This would force this person to do some shadow work and transform. Absolutely. Don't just use me for love and just leave. And this is how they would feel. Even though this is what they do, pile three. They would feel like you just used them for love and left. Oh my gosh, you better you would be their karmic justice pile three 
if this is a player, hustler, street cat, somebody who is non-committal, and you were dating them or wanted to offer your love to them, pile three, and they juggled you and you walked away, when they see you on the arm of someone else, that is their karmic justice, do you hear me? And it's going to spark a change in them. So if this is your divine counterpart or soulmate, when that happens, something major is going to change in this person. And I'm not suggesting you do that. I'm sure the divine would already orchestrate that because I'm seeing the judgment card. Look, there it go right there. I've seen it in my third eye. That's going to spark a change in this person. Solid as ever. And that's how they're going to come back to you. Solid as ever because that's probably how you've been to them. Everything you need lies within me. Stop looking what I just said. What I just say, everything you need. And didn't they say that at the be very beginning? They understand why you was talking to somebody else. See, that was the cockiness. This is coming in sincere. Once they do that change, they're going to say, everything you need lies within me. Stop looking. You don't need no options and I don't need no options is what I just heard. Come on through. Maybe I needed to get my heart broken by you. Pile three is what I just heard. Come on through. Don't break it again is what I heard. Okay, so if you broke this person's heart and y'all back on track, they don't want to go through that no more. They done learned their lesson. They don't want it anymore. And um, if you haven't, you know, if you did break their heart, they would be devastated, but it would spark a great change in them. Okay, so this is my feeling exposed deck. Pile three's person, what would you like to say to them out of the feeling exposed deck if you saw them on the arm of someone else? How could I hurt you? So they would think it was something that they did that caused you to want to be with someone else. And if that is the case, they are remorseful for that. They would blame themselves. They would feel like they pushed you in the arms of someone else. What else? Okay, we'll take them. Okay, we have, I come alive when I'm around you. So they would miss you, pile three. I don't want to put that on your other messages. They would miss you. And they will worry about you making other people come alive. They would not like that, okay? They would feel like, again, going back to this 10 of wands with the burning and going back, I think, to the four of swords, they would just feel like their world has no life without you. I can be myself with you. And this is what they would realize if you were on the arms of somebody else, pile three, that they could be their self around you, that they didn't have to put on a mask. They didn't have to be in this ego and this pride and this player, you know, energy because you would have accepted them regardless. If they are a hustler or a street cat, they're busy or, you know, they're out there doing whatever they're doing. You still would have accepted that from them as long as there was clear boundaries and an understanding. All right. And if they didn't give you enough time, that bothers them because that just brought me back to how could I have hurt you? I couldn't let you go even if I tried. Absolutely. And I told you they would act like, you know, they didn't care. But again, they're in that proper planning. They would not be able to let you go. You would really strike a chord with their shadow work with that ego and that pride you would you would spark a great change in this person okay you i can't make it up you got through my armor what i just say absolutely you sure did get through that armor bottom of the deck my time is precious show me how you feel and then this is what they would be into they would then realize time is precious not only their time wasting it with all these options but the time that they spend with you the time that they have lost because now you're on the arm of someone else. They would realize that and would show me how you feel. They would then get in that energy. If they weren't showing you before, holding those emotions, they would then show you how they feel because they would want that in return. And they would never want you to think that it's okay for you to leave them to go be with somebody else is what I just heard. Again, brought me back to um, stop looking. Everything you need lies within me somewhere down there. Uh, I think right there. Um, so they would really try to step it up. It just may not happen right away. And a lot of that change is going to happen in the background without you even knowing it. They're just going to pop back on the scene different. Okay. So pile three, I hope you enjoyed the reading. If it gave you the clarity and the ooey vibes that you needed, please hit the thumbs up button. Go ahead. Give me a like if you enjoyed it and it resonated, leave me a comment. I love kicking it in the comment section with you guys. And if you like kicking it with your girl, go ahead and subscribe to the Love and All That Goodish Gang. We have a good time over here. I channel in every reading. You will always have messages 
from your person. If you are drawn to another pile, go ahead over there. I will put your song in the description. And if not, pile three. Thank you so much for being here with me. I am humbled and happy to have you and just enjoy the rest of your day. Peace, love, and light. Hey, hey, Pile 4, welcome to your reading. If you did not watch the intro, my name is Empress Goddess of Healing and I am so happy the universe allowed us to cross paths today. Those that are new, welcome to the channel. Those returning and those who have joined the Love and All That Goodish Gang, y'all, thank you so much. Y'all know I appreciate every like, every comment, every view. Those who have jumped over to my spiritual channel, the Empress Goddess of Healing LLC channel and have subscribed. Thank you guys for helping me grow that channel. I know we're a little struggly over there. It's okay. We were struggly over here. You know, it it, it, it pick up. So <laughs> yeah, I ain't worried about that. But I thank you so much, you know, for supporting me and just really entrusting me also, you know, with helping you with spiritual guidance. So before we get into the reading, I do want to shout out Neela. Neela is a love and all that good is gang member. She reached out to me about a week and a half ago. She is from the UK, y'all, by way of England. And she reached out to me for a personal reading because she was the first one to reach out to me for a personal reading via YouTube. I offered a free reading to her. And in turn, she donated to the channel. So Neela, thank you so much for your donation and also for entrusting me to do a personal reading for you. And y'all, I was accurate, okay? And she gave me no information. You heard me? Zero information. I don't really require any information from my clients when I read them because I can just tap in. If you do provide me details, provide me as little as possible. Like no specific details of what's going on in the situation because I don't want my intuitive gifts to be tainted in any way. I want to have an unbiased what's the word I'm looking for, perspective and view, okay? So if you do wanna book me for a personal reading, I always leave my email in the description box and you can email me and I'll send you rates and things like that. So enough chit chat, let's get into the reading pile four. This reading is about how your person would feel if they saw you in the arms of someone else. And I do have a channel song for you, of course, but before we get into that, let's get into their energy and then the love messages that they have for you. So their energy, and I thought this was a duck, but it's actually a goose, right? And this is my Animal Vibes Oracle deck. And their vibe would be quack, 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 right? Now, when I first pulled this, I was like, oh, okay. So foul, foul forest person gonna act like they really don't care, right? But when I was researching why the, the goose makes the noise, it's because they make that noise whenever they feel threatened or whenever they feel danger is around. So the minute, pile four, you were around somebody else or they saw you in the arms of someone else, oh, they would be making noise. They would be quacking as all get out. They probably will come and confront you. They probably check the person that you with. It would definitely be a verbal altercation. They bite. When you get too close and they feel threatened, they snip and they bite you, okay? I can see somebody smacking somebody. I can see some type of altercation going down if this person, Power 4, saw you on the arms of somebody else. Next card, pr um, progressing forward. Do you see that stampede? I'm trying to tell you, they will haul to you so quickly, they will be on your behind. <laughs> if they saw you, Power 4, with somebody else, and not only, they probably bring in a crew. You see? Okay, so if you are a feminine energy and you are dating a man and you found out that that man was with somebody else, oh, you calling up the girls. We, we taking a ride, okay? And now, uh, you know, I, I'm a little hood. So I don't know if y'all know what taking a ride is, but that's when you get your girl, okay? And we about to roll up on this Nanetta, all right? We about to see what's going on, okay? A lot of times we have sneakers on, Tim's, we, we ready to go, you know? RTG, okay, ready to go if we need to pop off. And I feel like if it's a masculine energy, they may just have like one boy, you know what I'm saying? Like they may man come with them or even have a boys go and scope out the scene and then come back and tell you, but they definitely will be making some movement. And if they truly didn't want to lose you, right? They would definitely make movement to get you back so that you wouldn't be on that person's arm, okay? So let's go ahead and get into the love messages and I'll give you further characteristics on these energies. 
So you guys chose the love messages out of the energy of a person who is closed off pile four. So the person that you are dealing with may not always express their emotions to you. Even though they have emotions for you, they may not always express them verbally. And we have, I like not showing my emotions. And this is like indigo blue. So this is third eye, okay? So this person may want you to intuitively pick up on their emotions. This person is aware that they don't say their emotions, but they've operated that in, they've operated in that way for a very long time. Despite what you think, I love you. So they're letting you know right now, and this is pink coming from the heart chakra, emotion in this statement. They do love you even though they don't show it. Again, going back to this uh, deep blue with the third eye, they want you to intuitively pick up on how they feel about you. You hold too many secrets within. Now that's funny, you know, given this person say they don't like to hold their emotions. So you could be dealing with a person that since they hold their emotions back, you kind of hold yours back too. Or you don't always give a... Good gosh, guys. Since you're dealing with a person that is holding their emotions back, you may not be revealing all of yourself to them. And so that kind of confuses them because they want you to be an open book even though they're not. And the reason why they want you to be an open book is because they are afraid to express their emotions. They feel like they need to know all about you first before they feel it's safe to give you their heart is what I heard. And then we have, I thought your love was an illusion turned out to be real. And I get that this person probably has been fed a lot of BS from people that they've dated and could have been a little naive in love as well. Maybe a fell for the okie doke with people from time to time, you know, been fooled, having the wool pulled over their eyes. And maybe they thought you were too good to be true. And they're realizing that you're not. So with that statement right there, if they said, I thought your love was an illusion turned out to be real. Oh yeah. They definitely fighting, biting, quacking. Okay. Definitely got the crew on the way. All right. They not giving you up. And the overall energy for all four piles is the spider, which is weaving a web. So they definitely will be making a plan and weaving a web to keep you in their grasp is what I heard. Now with the goose, okay, they stand for connections with family and teaching you to connect with the universe. So they definitely will put them in the energy of wanting to bond with you more has tons of insight going back to this statement right here. So I like not showing my emotion. So you being in the arms of someone else would help them really see how them holding their emotions back is affecting this relationship and could potentially cause people to walk out of their life because they don't know where they stand with that person. So it would make this person go within, but it also would put this person in a very competitive energy because the goose is very competitive and they stop at nothing to have victory. Going back to this looking like a stampede, I'm trying to tell you them feet would be like happy feet. Okay, they will be on your behind. You would then put a driving force in them to really want to pursue you ferociously is what I heard in any qualities about them that did not sit well with you or going back to this not being emotionally available. They would work on that and try to tame that. Now with the horse, if this is a person who liked their freedom and their independence, seeing you on the arm of somebody else will make them rethink that. How free do I want to be is what I just heard. Is my independence really worth losing pile four is what I heard. I don't think so is what I heard. Come on through, okay? It would affect their confidence a little bit. But again, it would make them really want to go after you, okay? I'm getting you have a, um, you're very beautiful or handsome too with the horse. Horses are very majestic and striking. They wouldn't want somebody else to have you. They like the way you look with them is what I heard, whether you guys are together or not. And they wouldn't want somebody else to have you on their arm. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the channel song. That's just the energy and the love messages surrounding if they saw you on the arm of someone else. And your song, y'all, <laughs> is Hurting Me by Steph Landon featuring French Montana. And I love Steph Landon. This is... um. I don't know what this is, if it's Caribbean, West African, I don't know. If you can got a nice beat, nice hook, but I love this song. And this is the, the lines that stood out. Tears down my face falling. I'm in my place balling. Look, y'all, hold up. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. 
Y'all know I do this at different times, right? And when I was channeling this and channeling talking about about to get the crew, listen to the words of this song, y'all. Tears down my face falling. I'm in my place bawling. If I ever find her, find her, find her. I'm sending shots, shots. Do you hear me? Somebody is bringing out the pistol. Do you hear me? Okay, it's about to go down. So I was picking up that energy, right? Not only because we have Steph Dine and French Montana up in here. Not only, Pile 4, would this person be ready to get the crew? You would be ready to get the crew with your person. You ain't playing them games either. Let you see your person on the arm of somebody else. Somebody getting cut is what I just heard. Come on through. I can't. Y'all not having it either. Look at that there. Can you give me signs? Can you please call me? Yeah, yeah. See, now we in this energy. Now we quacking. See, they want signs now. They need to know, like, what is going on here? Why are you on the arms of someone else? And you would be like that, too. You guys both will want to communicate and talk about it. I see you guys blowing up each other's phone, okay? Baby, you rewinding it all on me. So you guys both. Look at that there. This one turn into both of y'all. You guys both will want to rewind. You guys will want to go back to before it even happened that you were on somebody else's arm or they were on somebody else's arm. You don't want it. Baby, give me time. Beg you. Love me. Love me. So you guys will want more time together. And with the um, baby, give me time. I'm getting that more of your person. I think you've given your person time, right? But I think more of your person would want more time and they would beg you to love them. Pile four. They would feel like you were removing your love from them. So this person right here, because they are so closed off emotionally, you don't even have to be in a committed relationship with this person. You could be casually dating this person, right? Freely being able to date other people if you wanted. But if this person found out, they would feel like you would, you have removed your love from them. This person really likes emotion from other people. And I think they like it because they're so afraid to express their own. So they wouldn't want you to give emotion. This person almost wouldn't care if you gave your body to another person because in their mind, when they give their body, there is no emotion attached. Look at that there. Come on through. But for you to have an emotional attachment with somebody, Pile 4 would drive them insane. Heard you got a new girlfriend and it's hurting me. Yeah, it's hurting me. It would kill them. They would cry. They said, tears down my face falling. I'm in my place bawling. They would cry in silence. They wouldn't let nobody else know they're crying, but they definitely would cry. Shed some tears over you if they felt that, not even if they felt they lost you to another person, if they saw you on the arm of another person, pile four, okay? If they just saw you, all right? So this is my journey of love oracle we just gonna get three energies of how else this could play out if they saw you on the arm of someone else and then we're gonna get some tarot on it and then we'll get some messages out my keeping 100 deck and feeling exposed clear the energy of this deck and i will get you out of here okay all right person how else would your energy be displayed if you saw pile four on the arms of someone else? Now, y'all know my cards be jumping. I've learned that when the cards don't come out like that, they really want to be tight-lipped, okay? We have blindsided, and we have, um, I think this is crowded. I think this is my crowded card. But with blindsided, it would totally catch them off guard they wouldn't even be able to see straight you know when the sun is in your face you can't even see and it, and it automatically brings your eyes to tear definitely would be crying they just wouldn't know where it came from and with this card right here you just see all this stuff going on i feel like their mind would just be full of thoughts they might not want to be around family be around anybody they just would be in a very chaotic energy and if this person has a family right and you know they have a family and you're not together, they would be side eye and they family like, do I really want this life? No disrespect to anybody, but that's how they would be. Do I really want this life? Because I have just lost pile four. Give me one more. How else would your energy be displayed if you saw pile four on the arms of someone else? And we have high value and moving on. Look at that there. They would really realize your value. 
They would then look at you like the jewel that you are to them. And they wouldn't want you to be on someone else's arm. They wouldn't want you to move on. Even if they decided to move on, especially if they're already with a family, if they decided to move on, they would really be sad about it. You know, like this person, you know, that's um, not easy to row this boat with all this stuff in there with that one oar. You know, that's something that's very taxing on the body. It would exhaust them, make their arms sore. So I'm getting that although that they would move on, they wouldn't want to. But if they had their opportunity in their shot, they wouldn't want to lose you. Bottom of the deck, illusion. See, because they would be feeding themselves illusions thinking they could move on from you in the first place knowing that they can't. So now that we know how the energy would play out, if they saw you on the arms of somebody else, cut to the king of wands and the two of pentacles, all right, so they definitely would get into a brave stance. They would really go after the things that they want. King of wands takes action. So if they weren't taking action on you before, clear the energy of this deck and juggling you with that, that two of pentacles, they would stop that and take action. So person with the quack, 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 Okay, how would that energy, uh, how would your behavior be displayed towards pile three if you saw them on the arms of someone else? And we have the three of pentacles. And what I got with the three of pentacles, they wouldn't like it. They don't want you teaming up with somebody else. Okay. Yeah, they would just be sad. They would feel like you put them in a third party is what I just heard. Okay. Even if this person put you in a third party, they would feel like you put them in a third party and they don't like that. And look at that there. We've got three and three. This could be a third party situation because I didn't see those three geese right there. They would not like that. If you guys have worked on anything together, collaborated, have businesses or anything like that, they would feel like that would affect your work. If they saw you on the arm with somebody else, they may not want to continue to do business or be partners with you. With the seven of swords, they would feel betrayed. They would feel like you were deceiving them in some type of way. They would want to run away. Do you see how she's running away with her arms up? They would feel like some light had been shown on, I'm hearing on, a, on your deceitful behavior. And we go back to blindsided. This person would not see this coming, pile four. This person would not suspect that you would talk to somebody else, regardless of whatever is going on with this union. This person feels that you would not talk to somebody else. And so it, yeah, it will put them in a bad energy with the seven of swords. They either would start being sneaky or they just would feel that you are. Give me one more with the Seven of Swords. Clarify the Seven of Swords for me. The Page of Pentacles. So two things with that Seven of Swords. Either, again, they would start trying to create some deceit in your life, but that's not what I'm getting. They would be trying to figure out where this betrayal came from. You know, why are you being sneaky? Why are you seeing people behind their back? Whether it's in their face or not. And so they will go back to trying to relearn things. They would research. They would just try to figure out what are you trying to manifest with this person is what I heard. Nine of Pentacles. They would hope you weren't satisfied with that new person also is what I just heard. This might be a third party situation. What's going on with this progressing forward? How would this play out person if you saw a pile, a pile four? on the arms of someone else. And we have the devil, look at that there. It will put them in great fear. They would wanna charge forward, just like I said, may charge forward in a toxic way though. I feel that this person may be a little codependent on you, pile four, and that would trigger that wounding in them. I also feel like this person might be a little obsessed with you. I feel like this person may be tied up in something else and although they want you, I feel like they can't be with you right now. We have the queen of swords and the king of swords. Look at that there. So this could be a divine counterpart to you. This person could be married given we have two counterparts right there. But what I'm getting is it will kind of put them in a cold energy with the king of swords, right? They would want some type of honesty and clarity in regards to the situation don't necessarily know if they would communicate that with you but they definitely would get out of their heart and stay in their mind because even though this person does not show you emotions this person feels those emotions and has those emotions for you they just don't communicate them so they would then try to get out of that 
and get back into their head, which means that it would distort their feminine energy, their sacral chakra, then they would block off those feelings for you, okay? Because they would be afraid to feel because it would bring them hurt. But that hurt would want them to, that hurt would propel them to want to move something forward. With blindsided, pile fours person, how would your behavior be towards pile four if you saw them on the arms of someone else? Look, we have the ace of wands. So they would feel uh, uninspired. They would feel like whatever passion you guys had has been halted. They would just be blindsided with it all. Do you see how there's that key right there over her chest? It would almost lock their heart back up. Whatever feelings, whatever door you cracked in their heart, it would slam that door back shut. If they saw you with somebody else, it would make them so sad. Again, going back to crying in remorse. If they hurt you in any type of way, if they were the reason why you are now on the arm of someone else, it would make them so sorrowful. And they almost might be blinded to the fact that they were the cause of that too. Maybe uh, in a victim mode. With this, I think this is my chaos card, a crowded card. Um, with this family, how would that play out? How would your behavior be towards pile four? We have the high priestess with the nine of swords and the lovers. Look at that there in strength. Okay, stop, person. Okay, so with the high priestess, first of all, with the high priestess showing up here, if you are in the feminine energy and you're dealing with the masculine energy, they think that you are like, what's the word I'm looking for? I heard God's gift to earth, okay? So they feel like you are just a, a cut above the rest. So even if they do have a family, right? If this person has a family and is already married, you are the person that they want to be with, okay? You are the person that they think of most. Otherwise, what I'm getting with the high priestess and the family, they would really go within. They would really start paying attention to their intuition. They would really try start trying to see signs. They would, they would try to really tap into the universe, basically, to see if they need to stay in this situation and let you go, or should they come after you, is what I am hearing. With the Nine of Swords, you will give them so much anxiety. I feel like if this person does have a family or a home, it's very chaotic and it already gives them anxiety, right? But then losing you too will give them anxiety because if this is a third party and this person has a family, you are their peace. You are their escape in their mind when they don't wanna deal with all of this chaos. You are that high value peace to them. If there is no third party and no family at all, then they may have wanted to have a family with you, but they would have wanted to have a peaceful family, not a chaotic family. But I also get with this too, you don't have to take this in a bad way. You can just take it that they all just want to be with each other. They all like to get ready in uh, the bathroom together. Maybe they tell each other stories before they get ready to go to work in school. So you don't have to take that as something bad. I just really feel like this person would really be trying to go within to really figure out what this connection is so that they could get out of their head and not be depressed because it would definitely put them in a depressive state. And the lovers, with the lovers there, yes, again, trying to see if you are a divine counterpart. We got two major iconists here with the high priestess and the lovers. That's what they would be trying to see. Did I marry my soulmate? Did I marry the right person? Am I building a life and having children with the right person? Or is pile four my person with strength? It would take a lot of strength. They would feel really defeated, really defeated if you were on the arms of someone else, especially if you built a home with someone else. If you were like this, pile four, with your family, y'all all just like being in the bathroom, like I said, y'all all piled up on each other, everybody love each other, don't care about personal space, just chilling. Oh, and they don't have that, uh, it would destroy them. With the high value person, how would your behavior be? Look at that. Wheel of Fortune with the Ace of Swords and the King of Pentacles. Okay, so listen. We got two men on the floor. You see that King of Swords, King of Pentacles? But with the Wheel of Fortune and high value, they would feel like, you know, it. it's owed to you. You deserve to have a loving partner. You deserve to have someone who will be emotionally available to you, who can give you the love that you deserve, especially if they are not in the position to give it to you. They would recognize that truth, but they wouldn't like that outcome. They may not openly express that outcome, but they would not like that outcome, but they look at you as high value, so they do understand it. And they understand that you needed to have an honest and truthful conversation is what I heard. 
And if they didn't provide that to you, they would understand that as well. And then we have the King of Pentacles. And it could be, look, with the high value, you could be aligning with somebody who matches you vibrationally. You could be aligning with somebody who's successful and wealthy. And they would think that, that you're owed that, that you should have someone like that to take care of you. I get that this person, even though their emotions are closed off, this person cares about you. And if this person is not with you, it's because they can't be with you. It's because either they're already with somebody or something is preventing this person from being with you, whether it's just their own self-sabotaging traits, feeling like they are not good enough for you or they can't give you what you deserve or they're already attached to somebody. But this person genuinely loves you. Okay, so I do want you to know that pile four. And as you can see, you see how I'm responding. It's in a very logical way, not, a, not an overly emotional way. I don't know why it's called shuffle. Clear the energy of this set for the moving on person. How would your behavior be towards pile four with that? We have the four of pentacles and the knight of swords. Look at that there. They would not want to move on. With that four of pentacles, they would want to hold on to you. You see how that knight is kneeling down? They would almost want to surrender. They would want to surrender to you is what I heard. They would want to surrender to being loyal. To love is what I heard. Not necessarily to you, to love, to emotion. So they would really want to get into their emotional body. Really give love a real chance is what I heard. This knight has a wolf next to them that is white. That stands for purity. They would come with a pure heart to you. Wolves, you know, run in packs, okay? They're protective. They're also loyal. So they will want to come and protect your heart because they will want you to protect theirs. And they will want to protect this love. And they will want you guys to be a team. So if there was a disconnect and you didn't feel like a team because they said, despite what you think, I love you, they would change all of that. They would change all of that. And they would want a firm foundation with that four of pentacles. They would want you to save your love for them is what I just heard. Don't give my love away is what I just heard. Help me show you my emotions is what I just heard. Teach me how to emote is what I just heard. Teach me how to love is what I just heard. Come on through person. All right, with this illusions, what's going on? Would your behavior be towards pile four if you saw them on the arms of someone else? We got the ten of swords. Ace of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. With the Nine of Cups person, you better stop it. The Seven of Cups, I'm done. Uh-uh. I see that magician. I'll flip it over. No more. Okay, listen. With them illusions, one, they would be overthinking. They would be in their head, but that's a good thing because it would help them break out of those illusions. It would help them stop having surface emotions. You know what I'm saying? It would help them really get into those emotions to see. You know, how they truly feel about you and whatever's going on in the situation. They would then be open to love. They would, be in, they would then be open to love being showered on them, not only from the divine, but opening up their heart to you to have true love. Nine of Pentacles. They would then want to be satisfying to you. They would then want to satisfy you on every level, Power Four, because you've already done that to them. And I just want you to see. How we started off with just, you know, um, pentacles and swords and a few wands. You see these cups flying out? Yeah, because you done got in that emotion. You see that? Now we got the nine of cups. So not only do you satisfy them in every level, you know, physically, you satisfy them also emotionally. And in turn, that's what they would want to give you. They will want to fulfill your every desire is what I just heard. Seven of cups. They wouldn't want you to be confused on where you stand with them anymore. They would not make you confused emotionally. They would let you know exactly how they feel about you. They would not juggle you. They would not put other things in front of you. They would not feed themselves any more illusions. They would not stay in a state of daydreaming of a woulda, shoulda, coulda, and they would actually take action towards you. They would manifest a new beginning because they don't want you guys to end. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some messages from your person and let's see what they would say out to keep a 100 deck. Can you remember the good times and only the bad? I could never get tired of your love. So if they saw you with somebody else, they would think you were trying to punish them. <laughs> and talking about can you only remember the good times and not the bad? And they would want you to remember the good times you guys had. And they're saying they could never get enough of your love. So even if you was on the arm of someone else, it wouldn't make them stop loving you. It would just maybe make them really go within and rethink some things. So person, 
What would you like to say to Pile 4 out the Keep It 100 deck of how you would feel if you saw them on the arms of someone else? They would say, look, look, that's not them, this you. You left the door open. That would be you. You would say that to them. Listen, you didn't give me the proper time and attention. You weren't available to me. You already tied into something, but you left the door open, okay? I heard that breaks my heart. It was like almost like they got stabbed in her. Like somebody was punched in the gut is what I just saw in my third eye. What else? Darling, you're the best. This is what they would come and say to you. Darling, you're the best. How could you leave me like that? Don't go is what I heard. I was grooming you. Now look at that there. Now this person said, I don't like showing emotions, right? So they're trying to say that they were grooming you so that you mean, and they were trying to train you to deal with the fact that they're unemotionally available, that they may not be able to give you what you want right now, that, you know, maybe they are tied to other people and they like to have, you know, options on the side. They were trying to groom you, but you stood up for yourself because you went and got somebody else. Remember this hypothetical, but just in case you went and got somebody else. Okay. And so now they are admitting, they would say, I was grooming you and they were wrong for that. They realized the error in their ways. Control is a vice I'm working on. Look at that there. They will let you know. Didn't I say something about some habits? Look at that. So they will come and confess to you all the habits that prevented them from opening up to you emotionally. If they saw you in the arms of someone else and they would tell you you are the cream of, cream of the crop. And that's why they would tell you about the, these vices, these things that hinder them in love relationships, because you are the cream of the crop. This is one fairy tale that will come true. I keep a new one on deck. Look at that there. Now see? That's another trait. They will let you know. I keep a new one on deck. You know, so again, even if they got a family or not, they may be juggling. They may have some things outside of that. But with you, you're the cream of the crop. You would make them think, hey, maybe I don't need to keep a new one on deck. Because it says this one, this is one fairy tale that will come true. So they do feel like you're a counterpart to them. They do feel like they would have just total bliss and joy with you. So they would want to change some of their ways. Brought me right back to that death card. They would end those toxic behaviors. Anything that pushed you away, they would end that. And they would definitely become more emotional with you. Look at that there. Give me, you give me high school vibes. Look at that there. Makes sense with all of these pages and knights. Okay, we did have some kings coming out, but this person does have a little bit of immaturity when it comes to love not that they act immature they just may not have been taught the right way to conduct themselves in love and they say you give me high school vibes which means you give them butterflies in their stomach maybe sweaty palms they don't know how to act when they are around you they they feel like this love is like a big crush may not even realize that they're truly in love with you pile four may feel is just a crush okay Clear the energy of this deck. Okay, Power Force person out the feeling exposed deck. What uh, messages would you like to tell Pile 4 about how you would feel if you saw them on the arms of someone else? And we have, I just chose not to do better. Again, they are confessing to you why they sabotage this. So they would, they would then try to get you to understand their behavior because they would want you back. Can't get you out of my head. They probably wouldn't tell you this, but if they saw you on the arm of somebody else, it would really send their mind into overdrive. I won't let you get away. Absolutely want going back to that stampede and feet with this horse. Absolutely. They would be planning because they're not going to let you get away. I fell short. I'm sorry. And this is what they would also say to you. So this person will come in humble. And this person will come in and really let you know, like, yeah, I messed up. I should have told you my feelings. I do love you. I thought your love wasn't true. The reason why is because, you know, I always keep another one on deck. I don't like showing my emotions. You know what I'm saying? I, I self-sabotage things that makes me fall short. All right? I choose to not do better sometimes because I think they choose to not do better because I feel like this person is just afraid of failure, afraid of disappointment. I was told to get one more. Okay, person, give me one more. You gave me two. I come alive around you, all right? So you have this energy that they like, and they will let you know that too, and they would be very jealous if someone else got to enjoy that energy. Remember, you the nine of pentacles. You the nine of cups, okay? And could be a divine counterpart to them as well. You hang up. No, you hang up. Okay, we both hang up. Going back to that high school vibe. So pile four. 
I think that this person has never experienced the love like they have experienced with you or if they have it was maybe in high school or in early years and you remind them of that love and this person just doesn't know how to act and know how to conduct themselves or it's been a very very long time since they had those feelings okay this person has genuine feelings for you genuine love for you and if you were to be with a person like this you just really have to hold their hand a little bit and have patience while you help them with their emotional body but I do feel like when this person really heals whatever emotional trauma they have had and they really step into that emotional body oh them floodgates open this is a lover do you hear me pal four this is a lover and I'm not just talking about sexually this person would flood you with kisses this person will want to touch on you, snuggle with you, you know, hang out with you, just be in your energy. That's the type of person this is. And I think they know that about themselves and that's why they hold their emotions back. Okay. So pile four, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you clarity into how your person would feel, think and behave if they saw you on the arm of someone else. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If it resonated, go ahead and leave me a comment. Comment section, y'all know I love kicking it with y'all. I love feedback and I will respond if you enjoy kicking it with your girl, okay? Go ahead, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be alerted next time I drop a video. And join the loving all that goodish gang. We have a fantastic time over here. I'm always telling your person and you'll always get messages from your person over on this channel. If you are drawn to another pile, even though this is pile four, go ahead and go back over there and I will see you there. And if not, pile four, thank you so much for being here with me. I am humbled and honored you allowed me to channel your person today and just enjoy the rest of your day. Peace, love, and light.